we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Valdek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. Let's continue with Oni, shall we? Where we have built up, theoretically, everything we need for uh, to exploit our volcano for electricity and infinite granite. Um, or at least the electricity part. But we've got 52 days, or cycles, almost, uh, to wait until it's actually going to blow. Um, I don't think I finished putting together... Oh, well, maybe I did. I put, it, I put together a very basic uh, cooling system for the granite that's going to come out. I think it comes out as granite. I mean, it comes out as magma, but magma cools to igneous rock. That's what I meant to say. Um, so we're not going to let that out until it drops down to about the temperature of steam. Shouldn't be too bad. We're not actually making anything out of um, igneous rock that that has a overheat temperature, right? I think. I'm not sure. What can we make out of igneous rock that has an overheat temperature? Um, okay, better question. What can we make out of igneous rock? There's a storage bin. Um... Insulated tile. I'm sure there are some buildings that take those sorts of inputs. But I'm having trouble finding them. How about under refinement? Nope. Oh, here we go. Metal refinery can be made out of igneous rock or granite. So there's at least one example. Uh, maybe I should put something together to cool off the rocks some more. Like I could actually drop it off at the same place as our copper in the short term. I suppose. I'd need a bunch more conveyor rail. I think that's part of why I didn't do it yet. Let's see, I could do 106 tiles out of the iron ore that we have. That's not enough. Um, but yeah, what else are we doing here? We got our food sorted. We've got not that much water. Hmm. Um, cool steam vent. Cool being 110 degrees. What temperature does this come out? I think it's like... 95. This is still better for our infinite water source. Um, and I've got it set up so that... If we can cool this off... Faster... We'll get more water coming in. Um... Should I just allow it to be a little bit hotter, or... Can we cool it a bit more aggressively? Well, at this stage we're not running the Thermo Aquatuna all that much. Because battery. Let's see how long it goes for. That's actually looking pretty good. We've got copper volcano running steam turbines. That's pretty on and off. Not that much overall. Uh, but that's our best renewable source at this point. Except for pedal power. Uh, I do have a bunch of coal and wood burners. Speaking of which, I was going to set up some automation here. 
I basically want the same settings as coal, but it's more of an emergency to use this stuff. So let's see. We don't use any knot gates or anything. Uh, 90 and 10. So we start using... Yeah, okay. I think I'll... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already set this up. So we stop using wood burners when the battery gets full and we don't start until it's completely empty. That's fine with me. What are we printing? We are printing... Um, starts with a tier 3 skill super duper hard digging. That's pretty... Flatulent? Nope, you're out. No natural gas output. Uh, oh yeah, we made this testing thing. To double check if our counter should be working. Which it looks like it is. I set it up to give us an alarm after 52 cycles. Four cycles have passed so far, so good. Um, what's our next priority, I wonder? Probably water. Which means lowering the temperature here. Which means... main base coolant loop with active cooling might be a good idea maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea if this steam room was responsible for cooling for the main base Except then it should probably be larger. I haven't even tested it to see how well the steam turbines can handle the volcano yet. 48 cycles until we find out. Or 49. Um, where would I put a coolant loop? Or not the loop, but rather the steam room. Um, thinking probably over here somewhere. This steam room isn't in hydrogen. We're just keeping it cool with the hydrogen loop. We could probably do the same. On second thought... Oh yeah, no, we're not, we're not letting that 95 degree water heat this up too much. That seems good. So I could do pretty much the same thing down here somewhere. I think I'd like to leave room for at least one more set of farms. And steam room only needs to be three tiles high. Um, uh, but perhaps we should keep the pattern going. Oh, this is already only three tiles, but we'll probably remove this at some point. Yeah, uh, I kind of want to keep it nice and neat. So... It looks like we'll be putting our steam turbine room... Over here. Most likely. I think I also set up uh, some emergency setup whereby...
Uh, yeah, if there's no water left. Oh, there it goes. If there's no water left, we are going to take some water in, no matter how warm it might be. Alright. I can live with that. Now let's work with... Uh, let's work on... Getting that steam set up. Um, so I'm thinking down here. If the steam turbines are going to be here, the steam room would be here. It should be three tiles tall. It's actually kind of perfect. What is this? Igneous rock? Seems good. We get it. You like breathing oxygen. Let it go. Oh, now you're stuck, aren't you? Maybe I should build the Atmos suit dock first. Uh-oh. Oh, are you really, really, really stuck? You dug that out in the worst possible order. Okay. Priority. Go. That was too close. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna want... Heavy what conductive... About... Where exactly? I want the airlock to go here. Therefore, heavy watt conductive. It's gonna go here. Cancel that for now. Um, we do want a double airlock. Conductive wire. It's gonna go like this. And we'll need a. Uh, what you call it? Power transformer. Seems good. That'll have to go one story up, I think. And transformer. Uh, that seems right. I guess I should probably have the insulated tiles there, actually. And this is gonna go over here. And we need the conductive wire to find its way to the airlocks. This goes over here. So far, so good. Steam turbines can start over this way. And what about our liquid coolant loop? I 
I definitely prefer to use crude oil for this one. I'll just double check out of all of the liquids that we've got available. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Now let's look at ethanol. Thermal conductivity really low, specific heat capacity really high. 2.46, that's the same as water, right? Uh, let's see, water is like 4 point something, I think, actually. 4.179, thermal conductivity 0. 0.6. Ethanol? Conductivity is way too low, and it's got half the thermal mass. Um... Yeah, I think crude oil is still going to be by far the best coolant that we have access to at this stage. Although, what does... What kind of specific heat capacity? Thermal conductivity 2, that's great. And 1.69. Okay. 2 and 1.69. It's way more conductive, it just has less than half the specific heat capacity. But I'm okay with that. Alright, so now I need to get some crude oil up here. Um, we've already got a tap. I don't know if it's accessible. It looks like it is. I think I used it before, actually. So I need to tidy up. First of all, this water right here needs to move. And I want coolant pipe heading up and down in the same place as the hydrogen coolant pipe, which is here. Hmm. Where should I... I'm thinking of having this go over this way and come back through here to get to the water input. Or I could actually send it... Huh. No, I... How many things does polluted water go into? I'm pretty sure, well, as far as I know, it's only growing certain trees. That polluted water is an input for. Now, I still want to hold on to the main bus layout for that. I don't know what that message was for. Oh yeah, we've got all this crude oil just lying around already. Don't really need them to uh, use this pump. What's taking so long with this build? Why are our plants not growing? Body temperature... 34 degrees? Is that because this... Oh, it's because this water came through. Okay, we really need to change that. I was already going to, but that's particularly nasty. Um, at least that should have been insulated pipe. Okay. Why don't I just decon this, and this, and this, and this, 
and this so I won't be so attached to the mess that we've already got. Um, and I'm thinking we just send it straight through here. Let's make it insulated. So we don't cook our food supply. And... I guess I could just put it in there, but... No, this is, this is fine. I need to leave room for our theoretical main bus. So we're going to have bridges like so. And why don't we just run this over here. And I could just run this straight down. Might be easy to follow. Oops. Need a bridge here. Fantastic. Need another bridge here. And there we go. Don't need to build this right now, but I needed to sort of see where it would theoretically go. Uh, and then we can build out our coolant loop. A bit more. Of course, this part is kind of in the way. I'm not actually using this anymore. Um, but I might just, like, build around it. So maybe our liquid coolant loop only comes up to here, at least for now. Kind of want it to go clockwise. That should be a bridge. And I kind of want this to be a bridge. that can stay there. And we need a bridge over this way. Oh, we don't want water in this particular coolant loop, do we? Good. Now we wait 600 years for the dupes to build things. Could probably go ahead and put that polluted water into the system as well. Um, why don't we build a little... Airlock over here. Start digging out all of this mess. Let's get a ladder. Second thought, bring it over here. And we need a pump. Or 
are we putting our polluted water? Over here. And over here. I see. Um, I may as well borrow a power cable from this for the moment. those get done first and off we go let's dig out all of that slime Put a air purifier there as well. And then... Growth halted body temperature here as well? Uh-oh. Good thing we've got a lot of food right now. We have a puffed prince. Isn't that the time the type we don't want? Uh sucks in polluted oxygen, chlorine, or oxygen. Oh, it drops out oxalite, so it's not actually costing that much oxygen. I guess you can stay. They actually built those pipes pretty quickly. Including this part. And this part. And I want a bridge over here as well. Actually, snipping it either way probably works, doesn't it? I guess we don't strictly need a door over here, but I kind of want one. Prince usually lay regular puffed eggs. Alright. Uh, Zaxxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I can already put those airlock doors in. Very good. And let's squeeze in... A mini gas pump. I should have put a proper gas pump in here before. But it's not too late, is it? No, I want to have the mini gas pump there regardless. On second thought, no I don't. Uh, let's just not build this one yet. And... I might leave room to expand this. For quite a lot of steam turbines. Designer plays. Good to see you again. I mean, I was thinking Evil Plot. Good to see you again. Designer plays. Welcome as well. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Evil Plot. Welcome also. So this is where we're going to do our active cooling with uh, Thermo Aquatuners. Wasn't it so Puff Prince's... Uh, inevitable. They'll always try to make one and only one or something like that. Is that how it works? Uh, regardless, 
let's get some power over here. How's your lava planet coming? Were, were you the one that I saw doing experiments on how long a dupe can sit in magma if it's wearing a an Atmo suit? Raided me when I was cooking dupes. Yeah, I thought I recognized that name. Alright, what do we got? Doctoring, operating, ranching. I don't think I'm interested in that. We will have some eggs, though. And we're going to want a gas pump to empty this place out. Come to think of it, there's a lot of chlorine and CO2 in here that I'm not a fan of. Um, I guess I could build a ladder up here. And we'll do a high pressure output down this way. Oh yeah, I forgot, we've got infinite copper. We're actually at the point where we've got half as much copper as we do lead. Very, very good. How much time is left on the volcano? 42 cycles. Fantastic. Devil's Dandruff. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... I don't really want the airlock to be built... before we sweep all of this stuff up. Once there's a lot less foot traffic, uh, then we'll build the airlocks. It's been a great day. Glad to hear it. Um, how does this fit together again? Liquid reservoir? I'd like to put all of our oil into it. Oh, I might change my mind on whether the liquid coolant loop is going to be clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on the layout of these things. So we can't actually rotate a or mirror a liquid reservoir, but we can with the thermal thermo aqua tuners. Since the liquid reservoir wants to go right to left. We'll probably make it... Oh, it has an overheat temperature. That's going to have to be made out of steel. Was the original one made out of steel? Oh, it's not inside the loop. It's not in the steam, steam room. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> The time I did build it in the steam room was up in space where it's hot. Where we're just trying to keep things below like 270 degrees or something. Um, so we'll probably make the liquid reservoir over here somewhere. Should be okay to place it something like that. Actually, let's do... So we're going to use our active coolant loops to cool these steam turbines, so they don't need to have the passive cooling system like this, which means our liquid pipes behind them are just going to be something like that.
We can have up to five of them share a liquid vent. But either way, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Since we have three tiles tall... Actually, if I if I wanted to do an arbitrary number of thermo aqua tuners in a row like this, uh, the temperature sensor, the um, liquid vent's probably going to be in the way somewhere. I can probably all just squeeze them into one spot somewhere or other. I could even put the liquid vent over here if I wanted to. Yeah, it's going to be fine. So, Thermo Aquatuna. For example. Utilities, Thermo Aquatuna out of steel. Uh, I think I want it to go right to left, and then come up here and go in and out of the liquid reservoir. It looks like counterclockwise is going to be more convenient for this. I think. So it's going to be something like in through there. Probably going to have to do something different with these pipes. And then probably insulated pipe here. So maybe aqua tuna left to right. I'd say that probably makes a lot of sense. And we're gonna have always insulated pipe, input, bridge, output, input, bridge, output, I think. So priority input and priority output for the machines, but it can flow through either way. What the... So I'll just put a bunch of these in a row so we know exactly where they're going. should be overkill. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Thermo Aqua Tuners we could squeeze in here. If we really, really want to. Uh, and then that is going straight back to the coolant loop. And this part won't exist. Seems good. I think. Is this the base game without DLC? It is indeed. Left it cooling down, it doesn't need dupes for now. It sent Zaxxon and Amelia to Sand Planet, which has been doing. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I've got a long way to go before I feel like I need to add complexity to this game. Uh, 
Hmm, maybe with how upset the dupes are getting. By the chlorine, I should do the airlock thing already. Let's make this out of copper. Just to be safe. need to do something about this chlorine. I could pump it into this room, I suppose. need to put some filters in place. What if I filter it down here? And then we could do this room and then just add a pump up here. get that sorted out. Gas filter. Um, chlorine. Make its way over here somewhere. Where did I output? Here it is. Everything else spit it out down here. Unbreathable gas, chlorine. And we'll add a little bit of wire. And just put it here for now. Make it nice and easy to see and remove later on. And we'll dig through here. Seems good. Now we need to put crude oil into this liquid reservoir. Which unfortunately I can't do directly. Which I think is very silly. As we have these containers. Uh, we're going to have to make a little bucket. For the crude oil. Where's our pumps? And we need a tap. That is a bottle emptier. We can print. Um, should I get another pufflet? What does it do? With the chlorine, for instance. Turns it into bleach stone. Um, I don't know if I added that we can put bleach stone in here. But we definitely want to put that underwater slash in the chlorine room. Uh, what category is it under? It's not liquefiable. Consumable or bleach stone. There we go. Because the bleach stone is just going to off gas chlorine, isn't it? Are you stuck? Okay. Buzzy Joe, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Who is getting scalded? Oh my goodness, it's Sea Moogle. Why is it so hot here? It's only 34 degrees. How... How are you getting scalded? Well... We may never know. And we'll need some electricity... Whoops. Uh, we'll need some electricity up this way as well. May as well do it this way. That doesn't even work. That does. Fantastic. Okay. So we're not going to use enable auto bottle. 
We are going to look for crude oil. Wait, 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 wait. Not yet. Uh, wait till these tiles are built, actually. Okay. I wish it would let me see what that what that message is. This is fine. No research selected, this is also fine. Food has decayed, this is also fine. How much steel do we have? 1.8 tons, fantastic. And we've got enough glass to automatically stop. Same with uh, ceramic, I think this is. Yep. And same with refined carbon. Although I guess the crude oil counts for something. Alright, now we can ask for crude oil to be dropped off here. Oh, we got that gas pump done. And I did set this to chlorine. Fantastic. Uh, could we hurry up with the checkpoint? I might have to make another Atmo suit. Atmo suit. Out of refined copper. Make a few. Let's get ahead of it. Yeah, I didn't print it yet, did I? Supplying, cooking, tidying. Increased construction. No decorating. No husbandry. Decreased husbandry. Decreased cuisine, increased food morale bonus. Um, That seems okay, to be honest. Sure. Let's take in nails. And I'll just check if I've got anyone queued up to name a dupe. Nope, we're good. Do we have enough beds? Um, possibly not. Okay. Deliver suit. Deliver oxygen. Max prior that. And I want to get this uh, airlock door built. I can start getting rid of this chlorine. Alright, put it over here out of the way in any case. Is the purpose of the row of aquatuners to cool down your sources of water? Uh, it's to cool all sorts of things, like the whole base. Um, but I just want to have... I just want to have it set up so that I can add the aquatuners as I need them without having to think about the positioning all over again every time. Um, I may I may even not end up using them all with the same cooling loop, um, but we're just we're just leaving more than enough room to expand into. That's all. All right, let's get some power over here. I guess this would be cleaner. Um. 
is this powered? Is it sealed? I think it is. Alright, connect that up. And is our filter... Oh, it doesn't have an output. For the non-chlorine. Also, this isn't connected. That might be the problem as well. So we need a bridge up here. Fantastic. And chlorine in here is going to get a bit higher pressure, probably. There's a bunch of oxygen in here that doesn't really need to be in there. There's also a little bit of polluted oxygen somehow. Oh, that's a normal gas vent. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. Probably? I don't know, we're mostly pumping out chlorine, and there's a bunch of oxygen up here. The chlorine's gonna drop out of the way. Mr. Uh, Stir, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we down to? 38.5 cycles till we get to find out if our volcano setup is any good. Fantastic. Already down to less than a kilogram in this tile. Um, and I think I would like to take in gas from here as well. Until we get rid of that chlorine. How's this game? Seen it on sale and was thinking about getting it. Uh, it's really good, but whether whether or not you'll like it, it really depends, I would say. Compared to other complex engineering games, uh, like say Factorio, the great difficulty of oxygen not included is, I would say, the fact that you don't have to learn one little piece at a time. You often have to learn several pieces at a time to get things working. Like having to learn entire sentences or paragraphs of a new language all at once before you get anything useful out of it. Uh, and meanwhile the clock is ticking and your dupes are going to run out of oxygen or food or something. It's pretty difficult to get to or past the mid-game uh, for new players. I wish I could color code my pipe so I know that this one's the waste pipe at all times. Should probably insulate it. That's one bit of color coding we can have. Because waste gas could potentially be kind of hot. Getting thin in here now. Hundred about two hundred grams. Yeah, it doesn't look like the pressure here is gonna be a problem. A 
Missing tile. Uh, how did that happen? I actually genuinely don't know. Oh, because we built pipe, that's why. And there was just natural tiles here before. This whole room is too hot to grow food now. That is unfortunate. Hydrogen is at 30 degrees before it leaves this room. Which means... I'm actually amazed that this mealwood is cool enough to grow. I'm, a, I'm actually not sure how that's happening. Did I reconnect water? I did. Pretty sure. I hope this is trying to work right now. Oh, it has no input. What the hell? What? I think I set it up so that we would... Uh, empty this thing. Of cooler salt water that we got lying around somewhere. But I don't remember how I changed it. The desalinator is switched on. This one... Yeah, I, I flipped that around. So now we're going to get some hot salt water coming in. Until the temperature down here... Well, uh, until there's a minimum amount, amount of water here, or the temperature is below some amount. The game starts deceptively simple, like a cube... Cute 2D survival game, and then surprise, you need to be a rocket scientist. <laughs> Indeed. Um, I think we have to have a bridge going this way for our coolant loop. Uh, and we need to snippy these parts. Did we get our crude oil in? Not that I can see. So now we're looping oxygen around here. I could probably turn this one off. I wonder what's taking them so long to finish the build. Is there no O2 coming down? There is not. Is the base running low on O2? Uh, I don't think so, slash not that much. Our electrolyzers are going at full speed. I'll definitely take some free iron. Did I not teak on that? I, I wanted to move this pump over here so we get that last little bit of salt water. Alternatively, I could move the tiles over like that, and the bottle emptier. Okay. The first place I really want to cool down using our liquid uh, coolant is going to be this place right here. And I did leave some room to make that happen somewhat.
Uh, and I kind of want to do it up here as well. I guess I'll just use some bridges over there. Oh, we do have crude oil. Oh. Oh, that's my fault. Because I decided to turn this around from being clockwise to counterclockwise, and I forgot about that liquid bridge. It doesn't contain crude oil, does it? Well, I guess it, they'll just drop it, like, not as a fluid on the ground. Regardless. Never actually unblocked this, where I built a airflow tile. Till our volcano. 35 cycles. The hype is slowly building. A hey, BG Nymond. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Liquid slash gas bridges don't hold any contents. They kind of teleport things. Okay, cool. That's very convenient. And we want to go counterclockwise with our liquid coolant uh, loop. Cool, so we do have some crude oil in here. Did we clean up all of the old? Not yet. Why is this one still not built? There's so little left to do to get this water pumping. That's a lot of hatches. Crapped. Okay. How about max three critters? Are these guys cramped? They are... Some of them are cramped, apparently. The only way I see around that issue right there is having a separate room for eggs. But I don't really feel like building it right now. That's a lot of polluted oxygen coming in. Let's get some more deodorizers. Probably grow some more mushrooms over here. Is that clay and dirt? Maybe I shouldn't destroy a natural mushroom just to add more here. That should be fine. ladder down this way. Alright. Putting our crude back where it belongs. Very good.
Actually, the crude being less conductive would act, it would actually make it even better for this particular coolant loop. Uh, the loop that we use for the metal refineries. Because we don't actually want it exchanging heat with the surrounding area. Ceiling collapse. I think it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're adding an awful lot of heat with our water supply. Hold on a second. Oh, I think I see the problem here. Or do I? Yeah, I actually... Hmm, did I do this wrong? I see what I was going for. I wanted to prioritize filling up the reservoirs before dropping water into this area so that we don't have to run the pump needlessly. But... Uh, I've also... Yeah, that sensor right there. I would have to fill up all of this stuff for this emergency sensor that says if there's almost no water here... Um, add water from here no matter how hot things are. Those two don't really go together very well. Okay. Besides which, I actually do want water covering these storage bins. I can't really think of a good way I could strike a balance. Oh, we'll just add some more water down this way for now. Maybe I should just not worry about the little bit of power it takes to run that pump. Um, do we actually have access to more lead? Or have I overdone it? It looks like we've got access to lead. It's all on the floor down here, though. Um, but it should be reachable. Maybe I should just be using the copper at this point instead. They have started building this, but... Oh, that gas pump is still going. We're down to 127 milligrams here, though. Shouldn't be too much longer. Still haven't powered this one. Could I maybe give a sweep order down here? I wish I could filter... Uh, give a sweep order with a filter. Oops. We really just need the lead. There is a mod for that. It's called Sweep by Type. Nice. Ad Adirox. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Very handy mod. Yeah, sounds like it. It seems like there's a lot of mods um, that add functionality for this game that should probably just be vanilla. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Nice suit. 
Let's do a little bit more exploring if we can. Spicy tofu. Seems good. Let's do those mushroom planting orders. I guess they can't even reach that one, probably. It says it's growing, so they must be able to harvest it. Uh, and I think we did move all that crude oil now. Fantastic. That's looking much cleaner. Very, very nice. I can actually see the items behind the weight plates. That they're supposed to be measuring. I'm thinking I should probably put insulated tile over here. It won't be perfect, but keeping the heat and or cool in this room seems good to me. Well, that polluted water is actually still coming in. Cool. That's actually going to lower the temperature a little bit. They still haven't swept any of this by the look of it. Maybe I should just cancel things and build it with copper at this rate. goes for all of this. Let's rebuild it with copper, since we don't have to go so far for it. What is this? Awaiting delivery copper, cancel, yeah, never mind. little coolant loops here, or maybe I should just have the one kind of like this. I think we're going to run through our copper kind of quickly at this rate, though. Hey, look how quick they got that done. Once I switched it to copper. Seems we still have gas in here. Yeah, it's blocked by this. I'll just wait till it gets rid of almost all the chlorine in this area. And then just turn it off. Which is actually getting pretty close already. Maybe I should have just reshaped these pipes. Oh, I cancelled the power here, didn't I? And then this one. Something like that. It's not even pushing that much gas through. 
what are those different counters you set up in your base? Uh, so this one was just a prototype, or I think I actually built it down here first, and I built it up there just to test it. Um, so basically what we have is a timer. We have... We had 52 cycles before this volcano is going to erupt. I don't want to miss it. Um, I put in a cycle sensor to send a pulse. Well, not quite a pulse, but send a little bit of green signal through once per day. And there it goes. Um, these two are set to 1 of 10. So that's the second digit. Um, and this one's actually only going to 5, because I want it to send out a signal when we're at 5. Uh, this spare one here is parallel to this one, um, but it goes somewhere else, uh, and that's set to 4. So when we've got, um, basically, this one is hooked into this one, so you've got, like, double digits... Uh, for a counter. We're up to 21 here. When this is 5, and this is a multiple of 4, uh, I've got the buffer gate there just because the signal timing wouldn't be quite right from over here. Uh, both of those conditions are met. We go into an AND gate, and that's going to trigger our notifier, we hope. Um, so the one... Uh, the first multiple of 50 and 4, well, 50 something and 4 uh, is 52, so that should trigger once it's time for the volcano uh, to erupt. D-Hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Big Brain, thank you. I just hope it works. Um, but yeah, over here we just have... Uh, a testing system for that. So as you can see, it, the AND gate triggered when it got to 52. Um, let me just reset all of these. And I'll stop this one from basically blocking the signal. And you can see every time this is a multiple of four... We're going to get a green signal up here. And once this outputs at 5, we'll get a green signal here. And at 52, they both go green. Can you use, like, a cycle sensor instead of a timer? Uh, yeah. The test one here is using a timer. And this is using a cycle sensor. Neato? Thank you. Alright, did we just about get rid of most of that chlorine? If I want to get rid of all of it, I would have to create a, a sealed room here. Because it doesn't want to go left and right very much. Mm, we're still getting some chlorine over this way. Oh, and this way. I guess we'll just leave it going for a bit. Seems like our trees are growing some of the time, although I'm at 32 degrees, I'm not sure why. We got our coolant pipe not finished, actually. Can they reach this, like, through the mesh tiles? Or do I need to put ladders all the way through here? to get the build done. If they build this, but not some of this, then we'll know. Alright. 
Oh yeah, I was supposed to set this back to salt water. Could remove every second mesh tile temporarily. Uh, that's true. It'd make these stop working, but who cares? Oh, they can reach up here. Okay, cool. I don't think the ladders are necessary. Unless this one tile right here is going to need a ladder to be reached. Once we get all these pipes over here built, we should see the oil looping by itself, even without a pump. Taking a while to get done though. We got that air purification happening. We got layers of polluted oxygen now though. How about some tile up here? What are we printing? Gold amalgam? Two tons. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Absolutely. How much gold amalgam do we have? 14.4. Nice. Oh, we actually did get rid of all of that chlorine. Fantastic. Alright, let's snippy this. Decon that. And we'll just keep this pump going until we get a vacuum. definitely like to see this built sooner rather than later so we can see our coolant loop working even without actually doing the active cooling just equalizing the temperature around here might not be that bad Um, so let's see. I'm gonna want a bridge over here. With low priority output. So, kinda like this. And this goes over here. And then we'll have some logic uh, liquid shutoff wherever we can comfortably fit it. Here should be fine. And basically, if the temperature in here is really cold, we'll shut it off. But I don't really realistically see that happening. Give it a little snippy. And then... Don't think that's going to work the way I have in mind. Because it's not going to, like, split 50-50 here, right? 
I need it to do this instead. It's got a temperature sensor. Oh, I've already got a temperature sensor somewhere. Except it's aiming for a much higher temperature. Here we go, above 5 degrees. That's the one I'm looking for. We can use the exact same logic there. And we'll need a little bit of power. Oh yeah, I had them building that insulate. Wow, that didn't take long. All of that is insulated gas pipe now for the uh, for the waste gas output. How much steel do we have? More than two tons. Beautiful. We've actually got enough steel, uh, theoretically, to turn off this touch plate, but actually the um, some of the steel is somewhere else. We finally got our vacuum. Fantastic. Don't think we'll be needing all this. It'll probably just confuse me later. Yeah, I think I'll just remove that. And tidy this up. really need this anymore. On second thought... No, I should get like a main bus supply of oil. Stop having them carted around. You don't have cold water for your plants? I'm working on it. I, I did have cold water. Things got a bit out of hand. taking a lot longer than I thought it would to finish these pipes. Um, I could always just, at least for now, do it like that. Oh, they deconned the liquid pipe over here as well. Whoops. Also... I'm not going to get to see this working properly if I don't cut this off. I should probably just bring oil into the coolant loop. Um, and I can allow or disallow it based on how much is in this reservoir. Is he stuck? What the... that looked weird. Fertilization. That's probably fine. So how hot is this water now? 27 degrees. Um, did I go to the trouble of... Yeah, I did kind of set it up so that we're not putting this hot water in until this area is cooler. 
We're still bringing in that polluted water, so it should last a while. We hope. Oh, I can only put one person in here at a time. Uh, that is probably not speeding things up. Why can't I put an Atmo suit dock here, though? What's in the way? We've got pipes. Oh, it's a it's a gas bridge. I bet that's it. Heavy power wire is blocking it? Um, no. We've got heavy power wire all over this one. I think it's just because the output of the gas bridge is exactly where this input would be. Yep, there we go. Also... Uh, I don't know what... This pipe is going to be, potentially, but this would be in the way. We'll fix it at some point. Uh, let's get a suit delivered. And some electricity, I guess. I guess this would have been a cleaner way to do it. But that was before I decided to make a second suit. Oh, I never actually did anything about our oxygen supply. It just sort of caught up. That's good. Seems good. Alright, so we want some water. Well, let's get the room finished first. What are we printing? Some eggs. And let's make some omelettes. Just 27 cycles until we see what our volcano has to say. What now? Is that getting its oxygen? Yes, but no. Let's cut off this one for a minute. I kind of want this as a higher priority right now. So close. Body temperature over here? I guess it's... I was going to say, I guess it's close to this steam vent, but... That should have saturated ages ago. Petrie Cottontail, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stuck on the counter? One of dupes is to... Oh, good point. I'm sorry, Boovim. Actually, you know what? Just uh, get rid of this. There you go. 
And we got ourselves some polluted water. Okay. He must have been there for a while when I deconned this stuff. Much better. Hurry up. I, they're still not deconstructing this either. At least a cycle or so? Rip. Well, not rip, which is good. Oh, I do have a place I'm getting rid of polluted water. Fantastic. I thought I set that up up here, though. I did. Let's deconstruct this one. Fantastic. Alright, so I could do a tap, but it would probably be easier if we just do one of these. Where is it? Liquid vent, liquid bridge, and water over this way. And I think if we fill it up by just under a third, um, we should never get our steam pressure too high that the water can't come back in. So we're going to want Thermo Aquatuna. Number one can go here, make it out of steel. And we're going to say... Uh, run it if... Which sensor am I looking for? Liquid pipe thermo sensor. If the input... Don't make it out of lead, we have to go so far for lead. Uh, if the input temperature is above X, then run the thermo aqua tuner. Except I'd also like to set a power management on it like we did over here. But that would require either... Probably, if I'm going to do them in series, battery, AND gate, temperature. And the AND gate would have to fit... Uh, like this. So battery, NOT gate, and then temperature, AND gate. We could do it that way. It's actually not that bad. Uh, make it out of copper. I can't. I didn't leave room to fit the first battery. I could put the battery somewhere else, but I kind of like the idea of recycling the heat from the battery to run uh, power. So we could maybe move this over a bit, I guess. Or I could just... We'll kind of be doing that anyway if we're running coolant through everywhere. As long as we pump the heat back into this room. Uh, it's, it's one battery. Let's just move all of this over a little bit. I doubt we're going to need 10 um, 
Thomo Aqua Tuners, and if we do, I can just extend this thing further to the left. So we're going to put a smart battery right about here. Uh, I believe it's going to need a knot gate. And our thermo aquatuna fits like this. All just connected straight to the main network. Oh, I can't quite do it like that. Because our door has to fit here. Also, uh, I put that liquid vent in the wrong place. Give it a little snippy snip. Now I don't have anywhere to put the water input. This might be enough already. We got like 210 times 24. I think we should probably put more water in here, but I could do it with just a tap. Or I could shorten this loop for the moment. Yeah, I think the tap is probably going to be the easier way to go. Let's put our door... It's getting a bit low on copper. Hopefully we've got some lead available. Let's reconnect this. And we're going to have to mop up this water here. Alternatively, I could remove the battery, snip that temporarily, put the liquid output vent here. That seems like a good way to go. Let's stick on that for now. actually need this thing. We do need to mop this up too much. Uh... How am I going to get it out? Oh, I can swap this out with a... Nope, it's airflow tile that can let gas through but not liquid. There isn't one that works the other way around. I think I'm going to have to let gas back in here to get rid of this water, otherwise it's going to flash to steam. Am I going to end up allowing... Yeah, I, I think... I think we have to let gas back in here, and I'll put in a plastic, uh, a mini gas pump. Whoops. Now, why are they taking so long to do any of this? Probably because they were asleep. And we put our liquid vent over here for now. And I need 
need some ladders. Or a ladder so they can mop that up, maybe? Is that how that works? I don't think so. I think I have to decon this. Why are looking? It goes there. This will go to the battery. And uh, this goes here. Please mop up that water. Why? How is this unreachable? I've seen them climb up this high before. It still says it's unreachable, Moth? Why are you like this? Okay, at least we can get rid of that bit of water. Can the airlock not be stepped on like a normal block? It can, that's the thing. Let's put a regular tile next to it. And please don't lock someone in there. Almost. It still says unreachable. How did it even get up here? Just build a tile on it? That's a good idea, except I can't. Because heavy what conductive joint plate. I think we seal this up again and decon the airlock. And that's gonna let this gas in there. Uh... How can they squeeze through that? But this is unreachable. Are you joking? Oh, so now they're... Now they're not using the... Atmo suits. It's fine for the moment, though. I think I'll just... You know what? I'm just gonna put a mini gas pump in here. And we'll let that flash to steam just once. And it'll get pumped out. It's just a really small amount of water. 38 grams. Let's just not worry about it. Okay, can we actually get our Thermo Aqua Tuna built sometime? We're about 40% done filling this with water. What do we print? Whoops. Uh, what are we printing? Some paku for food? What do we got on the volcano? 23.8 cycles. Not come soon enough. Free Paku flee for your lives? Yes. Combat. Cool. Oh, that's already powered. Uh, we might want to not do that yet. And let's put back that battery. I can't do it until we get that liquid vent done. I mean, I don't strictly need to fill up water this way, but it's kind of easiest. Um, and one little piece of power wire. Should have flipped that thing upside down, actually. Uh, either way. It's fine. 
I'll remove it later anyway. Let me get all this swept up. Oh, I already ordered it, it looks like. I think pipes for steam turbine is missing. Oh, that's a good point. Um, well, we really don't have to have the pipes here where there isn't going to be a thermo aqua tuna. So... Oh, hey, this part's done. Let's connect this up. Oops. Connect this up and see if it behaves the way we think it does. Seems good. I usually fill water in my steam room using those. That makes sense. So once this is actually saturated, it should have priority. Uh, but more to the point, uh, I want to empty this for the moment. We'll get rid of that last little loop where the battery's going to be. And I want to put a bridge across here. Your loop has a loop? Yeah, that was temporary. It's fine. Oh, they got that bridge done already. Fantastic. Snippy this. Um, get rid of that bridge. Decon that. And we'll probably put our liquid vent up here. The one that the uh, steam turbines are going to use, that is. Uh, and I'll need this to have a bridge, actually. So we can squeeze it down this way. So we can get away with up to five steam turbines this way, with uh, one shared pipe. We already got our vacuum in here. Very good. Is this at max pressure yet? It is not. And this one can go as well. We're getting close. Three quarters of the way done. Starvation. While you poop. Twenty two cycles to go. Much excite. I'm surprised our Dracos are doing okay, considering how often I've seen that it's too hot for this uh, meal with Chikori. How's our temp over here? Getting better. Alright, so I think we fixed this. We can reconnect our oil loop.
maybe I should have taken the hot water from here directly to fill this up, since it's going to be flashing to steam later anyway. Oh well. Eight hundred and fifty kilograms of water. Why is oil the... Why is the oil stopped at the top of the water system? Um, because... Because we never did build this tile. Like I kind of half expected. As soon as that's built, we'll get to see if this prior system works correctly. It really seems like the days are three seconds long when we're trying to get things built. Nine hundred and thirty kilograms of water. Almost there. Probably a good idea to run our hydrogen loop through here. I could path it for maximum exposure, actually. Uh, close enough. full with the water. I don't know why it's behaving like this. Looks kind of weird. But it's it's pretty much full. Almost a thousand kilograms for each tile. That's what we're looking for. Let's get rid of the liquid vent. We can probably get rid of all of this as well. Oh, they're just dropping water everywhere? So they're going to drop water in here as well? I, I thought it would be built into it that they would extract pipe contents. Uh, but I guess not. And now we put our battery here. Two reasons. Um, for the power management logic. And so that we recycle the heat. Once that's done, we'll actually start running this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot, I was gonna let this flash to steam and just pump it out. Should pu pump it back into here, actually, if I'm sure it's gonna be steam. Uh, easier said than done? No, we're good. 
As long as there's not actually anything but steam in here, that should be okay. The smart battery is flooded. Oh, that's fine. Um, so the battery would normally say red when full, green when low. We want the opposite. That's why we have the not gate. So if it's sending a red signal all the time... It's sending a red signal now, even though it can't work. No, oh, it is charging up, though. Yeah, I think we can pretty much ignore that problem. It'll take forever to turn into steam. Yeah, it has a high, um... Uh, what's the word? It has a high thermal mass. It will take a while to heat up. But that's fine. This isn't about producing power, it's about having a heat sink. Only trouble is, if that battery is not going to work properly until it flashes to steam, uh, we're not going to have our power management. I guess I could just borrow from this battery for the logic, temporarily. Looks very complicated, makes, makes Factorio look easy, yeah. The difference is how many different things have to work. How many different things you have to figure out in parallel? Like, to, how many things have to be figured out multi... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Simultaneously? It's not like, you know, build steam turbine, build... Uh, boiler, build pump for input, connect them with power wires, and you have a uh, steam engine like in Factorio. There's all these, all of these variables that you have to be aware of at the same time. Butlet egg. I think I got three of those today. It's usually three. No, it's two. Like, usually until you get to, like, Arcospheres or something, you can just learn Factorio one simple piece at a time. Hmm, that's not quite working the way I had in mind. How did I do it over here? This is old, I should get rid of that. It's very confusing. But yeah, gas bridge going to the off ramp, basically. Do that pretty easily over here. Let's decon that one. And cut this off. Decon that. Gas bridge can, I mean, liquid bridge can go over here, uh, and then it goes up this way. Did we run out of this polluted water? We did. Fantastic. Pipe blocked. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so... Deke on this one. Doesn't really matter. Connect this one up here. So it should prioritize going this way, and if this is blocked, 
it'll just go straight through. Fantastic. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so what's our temperature here? 5.2 degrees? Already? Now, crude oil is significantly cooler than other things in the base already. Uh, a bit more than I expected. Oh, wow, that is cooling down fast. Of course, it'll take a bit more for it to spread down here. All the more reason I should probably prioritize filling this with water so that these radiant liquid pipes can transfer heat to the water directly without the low conductivity chlorine uh, in the way. Um, but still, cooling this room down... This water won't be able to stay hot for too much longer. And we should probably run our oil through here as well. Fantastic. Oh, it's coming back this way. Uh, probably because... Yeah, we need a second bridge. Like this. I kind of would have thought... Hmm. Is that going to help? I don't think so. The straight part has to have the bridge. So we have a bridge like this, and this can connect back here. like it's working properly. Let's drain this part. And get rid of that. That's what we're looking for. So then, if this is blocked, that'll go through there. And if it can flow through here, that one gets priority. Seems a good. Nice. How hot is this water getting? 34 degrees? really is going to take a while to flash to steam. We'll just have to depend on that battery for power management until then. I'm glad the AND gate at least fits together conveniently enough here. So we could do as many of these in series as we want.
Nice. Well, I think we should... Probably... I was going to say probably add more water. It looks like it's happening anyway. Morpheus? Good morning. Off to work, Lurk. Off to work, Lurk. Thank you. Uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for the 11 months. Much appreciated. Almost a year. Wow. I, I really do appreciate it. Thanks, Morpheus. Alright, that'll probably keep these trees growing pretty easily. You're most welcome, thank you. Okay. So why are we... Oh, it's the temperature. The temperature's getting low enough. Okay, the water itself isn't that cold, but the room temperature where we are, where we have this thermo sensor is low enough that it's saying yes, please bring more water in, even though it's hot. Um, and I've got it set up now so that uh, so that this liquid vent is a higher priority. So we'll saturate this with water, which means the uh, radiant liquid pipe is going to exchange temperature with the water much more easily once we get a certain amount. So initially this water is going to stay kind of hot, um, but once it, once it gets up here, it should be much better. Thanks for the year of entertainment during boring work meetings. Uh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Reuse clan? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, when do we get our volcano? 18 cycles. Too many cycles to wait. I really want to see how it goes. Okay. How about we get some more deodorizers down here? I want all of this cleaned up. Hey, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here comes some more steel. Fantastic. It's going to be a long wait for that water to reach steam temp. I should probably stop looking at it. I could put a sensor in here to just tell us, hey, we got steam, hooray. Automation notifier. Uh, gas element sensor. And automation wire goes here. And I need to set it, so let's get the gas element sensor built. Before I forget, it needs to be set to steam. What are we printing? Free steel? I'll take it. What is this? CO2. All that bluish, greenish stuff in the background of the cold biome makes it look weird. Is 
17 cycles. I keep forgetting what this is, but whatever it is, it's useless. Uh, oh. It is a chlorine gas vent. Outputs. Uh, how do I do this? There was a way to select it. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Outputs at 60 degrees Celsius. So... I don't really see how we would make much use of that. Or rather, we can't really make use of it for steam. I mean, I guess we could pump the heat somewhere else. Theoretically. I'd much rather just go up to space if we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. An ice biome right at the top of the map feels really weird, to be honest. Right next to this uh, regolith and stuff. Uh, but yeah, if we're getting that desperate for heat sources, for electricity, there's probably other ways we could go about it. Is this another AETM? It is too. I can't believe I missed it, if that's what happened. Should probably take advantage of that. Except it's going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, this is way down here. I'd have to bring a coolant loop. Uh, we might do that eventually, but for now, I honestly can't even be bothered, especially after we just got that liquid active cooling loop going. To get just one more AETM. Then again, if we added, like, if we looped colder hydrogen back in this way, at the point where we've gone up to, like, 26 degrees, this side of the base could be significantly cooler, I guess. Irrigation is the problem here now. Oh, probably because I disconnected it. Might have something to do with it. Very cool seeing a wave of bristle blossom going green. Nice. I think I'd like to get one more set of bristle blossom down here. And we could maybe do a fish farm close by. since we want to drop the seeds off there. Speaking of which, why don't I put a storage bin here for blossom seeds? Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. Um, but I don't really do any like edited, scripted stuff or anything. I just post the VODs. Um, but you can see the link down below. I'm surprised how often we're able to run this aqua tuna at this stage, to be honest. How much coal do we have left? 109 tons. Wow. That's doing much better than I'm used to. Well, 
We've got steam. Steamy. Fantastic. How much longer on our volcano? 15 cycles. It's happening. I kind of want to make preparations to get that natural gas. I kind of want to flood it. Just to prevent gas from spewing out. Maybe it would be easy to build a room around it first instead. What temperature does it come out? 150 Celsius. Okay, I have a thought. If we have really good insulation and we put water in here, can that water flash to steam? And are steam turbines able to get damaged by trying to suck in a different gas? I guess I could always just have a separate room above it for the steam and like some metal tiles to transfer the heat into there. I think what I'd like to do, uh, different from what I've done in the past, is when I pump the natural gas up this way, I want it to already be cooled off. So we'll use uh, thermoregulators. I was going to say build another like steam setup over here, but what I could do instead, uh, if I left myself enough room, is put a thermoregulator here. And have it not let the natural gas out until it's below a certain temp of this uh, cooling area. I could just do another room for it. I think I'd like to figure out like a standardized build for this regardless. So we would want I don't want to I don't want to pause time right now and I don't want to set building stuff where the dupes will actually reach for the moment. Um but we would have like gas pump input of course. I guess the we could probably make this room as small as possible. Scroll down and you'll see. Uh, indeed. Was that just the YouTube link? Yeah, it is. I'll just paste that in. So what I want to have is a thermoregulator. What will the volcano do for the base? Uh, two things. Um, it'll give us a bunch of heat which we can convert to electricity. Um, and when the magma cools down to 1400 degrees, which will pretty much happen instantly um, the moment it comes in here. Uh, it'll give us infinite igneous rock. Not that we're worried about running out of igneous rock, um, but it's still nice to have an infinite source. If you are using natural gas for power, why bother cooling it at all? Uh, because I don't want it to... Uh, like, I'll want to have the natural gas room, the room with the generators somewhere close to the base or in the base, um, because of, there's a bunch of stuff I want in that room because of just like a 
kind of a synergy of, for example, fertilizer, uh, fertilizer synthesizer outputs natural gas. So I want a few related things with like natural gas and polluted water output and stuff like that all in one room um and i'm probably gonna have the paku in the bottom of that room uh since it's gonna be at or near or in the base um i don't want to be pumping it to the base with extra heat so i just want to cool it off a bit before it makes its journey Um, and I probably will just pump it over here to do another thermoregulator. What can we print? Pony, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Building, farming, ranching. Mm. Decreased medicine and excavation. We don't really need more tubes right now. I'm never going to build the thing to deal with the rust either, so I'll just skip this one. Uh, but yeah, it would probably look like... Thermoregulator made out of steel. Uh, insulated pipe, I guess that part doesn't matter much. Move this over a tile, perhaps. Or I could flip it around. Doesn't really make a difference. Gas bridge would go... here? And I could have multiple in series. But since it's only coming out at, oh, never mind, 150 degrees. Yeah, we could probably have a couple of these in series. That makes a lot of sense. Except I don't have room for a sensor for input for each one of these. I don't think we really need it. Uh, how cold can natural gas get before there's a problem? Negative 161 degrees. I don't think we have to stress too much about that. Uh, so basically I want to have a few thermoregulators in a row. I think I'd like to move these over one tile. One, two, three. Can I not? There we go. That's not how it works. then some kind of temperature check basically loop it back in if it is still hot enough and that would look like I could do a oh wait no gas reservoirs are huge They're not that good either. Then again, what's the harm? Oh, I should just use a gas bridge to prioritize. Speaking of gas bridges, this goes here, here, and here. And then we could say... Can I, can I not find... here we go. Let's get some symmetry if we can. 
or a pseudo-symmetry. So if I do gas bridge like this, then the loop should have a high priority. Seems good. And then we do a gas shutoff. Uh, if the temperature is above X, shut it off. Where's the sensor? Gas pipe thermo sensor. And this is our output. I'd also like a sensor to just say, don't bother sucking in gas unless atmospheric pressure is above X. Let's put it over here. And then we just need a airlock door, which I could fit here, I guess. I don't care too much if a little bit of heat leaks out of here, is what I start to say and then realize I probably hate that actually. But look how neat it would be. I really wish we could build these doors out of insulating material. Theoretically, we should never need to go in here again. I'd love to have the confidence to just close it up. But in practice, maintenance often needs to be done. Also, we'll make the steam room accessible. And put a vacuum in between. Uh, no, then I would need another door. Yeah, never mind. Well, the steam room needs to be sealed regardless. And I would like for that to have a vacuum to keep the heat in. Where am I going to fit it? Yes, we've started building. Whoops. I think I would just have to fit this not as snugly as I have in mind. How am I going to get water in there if I... I would, I would have to get it placed in there ahead of time. Let's just make it a bit longer. Something like that. And a ladder. Alright, that seems like a decent start. I'll have to not build all of this just yet, so we can put some water in here. I can just take from this water pipe to get that done. Hello, why don't you just use water to cool the gas directly? What do you mean by that? 
Oh, as in use like a liquid? Uh, like an aqua tuna? This will be a more precise uh, way to cool the gas. To actually cool the gas directly. Besides, the thermoregulators aren't very expensive power-wise. How much temperature have we got here? 45 degrees. It's warming up faster than I thought it would. We've still got kind of hot water in here. Um, but this is quite cool. I think I'll just... This only goes to here, right? Yeah. I think I'll just, uh... Kind of de facto have this running consistently for a while. Because as soon as we get enough water for it to come up to the level where it touches this radiant pipe, uh, things are going to change a bit. I could also, instead of doing that, Put a bit of radiant pipe here, and a couple of bridges here, and that little bit of touching the water is probably going to make a pretty big difference. Even better, I could maybe put the bridge over here instead. Don't worry about changing this. Alright, prior construction go. That's a bunch of hard to reach salt water, but it is reachable. Did I not? That is salt water, right? Yeah, salt water. Drop off salt water. Get it cleaned up. Now I need this CO2 out of the steam turbine room, because I don't particularly want it slowing down the, um, the transfer of temperature. It's kind of tricky given the shape of the base. Maybe I should just start pumping. Si uh oh. Uh oh, it's happened. Oh well. <laughs> that natural gas is going all sorts of places. I wonder if it's going to find its way to the top of the base? What's its mass? Like, density. It doesn't tell us. Hmm. I think it's about time to start pumping CO2 out of this asteroid. Let's get a gas pump. And... I think around about down here. Here would be a good place to start. Let's do a bridge. And a bridge. And up we go. And power. Uh, and I'll want to add some logic here. Gas element sensor. Maybe just get rid of anything here that isn't oxygen. That might make it easy to set up, actually. Let's go with a buffer gate around about here. Gas element sensor. A couple of pieces of wire. And if we detect not oxygen, we're going to need a not gate. No 
a bit more wire. Uh, if we detect not oxygen, run the pump for, I don't know, 20 seconds. Settles between CO2 and O2. Okay, then. That's kind of not where I want it. Uh, choose a blueprint. Farming suit wearing tidying. Don't care. Let's get fungal spores. And did we get this built? We did. Should see that water changing temperature a lot more quickly now. Yep. It's dropped 0.3 degrees since we started looking. And that is half a degree. Very nice. Right then. How long until... Ooh, nine days. 9.9 9 cycles. Till our volcano begins to erupt. Uh, we're not actually going to be able to get through here if we build the airlocks first. And we might need a ladder or something. Should probably have got rid of the looted water as well. We'll get it sorted. I do kind of want the polluted water on top of this so it doesn't spew out natural gas until we're ready. Uh, that is... We need to get this thing working. Alright, so we're looking for oxygen, not oxygen, uh, no gas output, that would probably help. And let's make sure it gets done as soon as possible. Nope. What a tease. They're building this kind of quickly. Two forty four eighty. Uh, six twenty. Wait, two four five six forty. Yeah, seven twenty. Dub. 720, 730 watts. And kind of ignore the doors. If I had made this a bigger power transformer, I could just borrow from that. Maybe I should just do that. We've still got like nine cycles until. Until Volcano. Large power transformer. There should be some lead around here. It just dropped. And please reconnect that. Hey, there it goes. What's slowing this down? Oh. Huh, I wasn't expecting that. Our space-exposed gas vent is overpressure. 
This doesn't drain gas quite as quickly as I would have expected. Um, I could always replace it with a high pressure gas vent. Is it really necessary? I only want to keep sucking gas in here until we detect oxygen. Overall, the throughput needed for this should be pretty slow. In fact, as long as it can suck in gas faster than the tubes create CO2, it should be okay. I think. Well, not just the tubes, but also the generators. Uh, let's get this fixed. I don't think I can just put this here as if to upgrade it. I'm gonna have to decon that and wait. Whatever that puffed just crapped out, we already picked it up. Alright, high pressure gas vent, fantastic, we're halfway to steam, and much sooner than that we're going to get our volcano working. Fantastic. So now I can just borrow conductive wire from this thing for our uh, airlocks. And I could probably put the gas stuff on this as well. I just realized I'm going to have to, if I'm putting steam turbines here, I'm going to have to have the heavy watt conductive wire down here anyway. So I don't really want to build that. I don't mind having this upgraded power transformer though. I think we'll only need one steam turbine to keep up with this. It could probably self-cool. But if we're doing the self-cooling thing, we should put hydrogen in, and that's one more room that needs to be airtight. So I could just do it like this. Come to think of it, if we had three of these, where would I fit the liquid vent? I'm sure two is enough. And let's do the usual conductive to go in there. And probably run the rest off of conductive wire. And this is going to have to find its way. Whoops. To the main network. to think of it. We'll probably want to change that. Okay. 
There's actually nothing but liquid in here, so if we seal it off and then remove all the liquid, there should be a vacuum. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What can you use natural gas for in this game for power and heat? Uh, yeah, for power, um, normally heat isn't a problem, or rather removing it is the problem. Uh, but there's also a, what is it called? A gas range that needs natural gas to cook some nice meals. Uh, we'll deal with that when it's easy. It doesn't need much natural gas. Did we build this? Yeah, we did. Oh, wow. Even the high pressure gas vent is getting over pressure. Uh, where does it say space exposure? There it is. I think it's only the one tile that's exposed to space here. We could maybe increase that a bit. In fact, dig up there. Seems good. Six or seven cycles, seven point three. Yeah, that water's well over this side it's significantly cooler than this side, but that should somewhat even out relatively soon. Doodaloo. Surface breach. Yes, that was the idea. Nice bit of music, though. Alright, I think we're going to have a bit of an easier time not putting our CO2 this way. Most likely. Yeah, it's not even getting halfway to the edge here. Cool. Someone got an attribute increase. Very nice. What are we printing? Uh, probably some seeds. What's the temperature like over here? Not too bad, actually. Okay, I think I want to build an airlock door here, and then we'll put a pump here and empty this out. Before I do that, I want to know where all the other airlock doors are going to go. Here, here, and here. Um, so the access one will be in the middle. Or I could even put it here. Not quite. You know what? More water would actually help here. Bring it on. We'll have to get rid of any little gas pockets. Of 
course you're going to build that, uh, dig that in an order where you can't reach it all. Um, how about you dig down here? I don't think that's going to be enough. Liquid Dance, indeed. RPHL Streams, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I'd kind of like to put the main access here now. That's why I'm bringing in more water. Which means I want one of these here. And... We can connect these like so, I guess. And this part's not going to be needed. Oh, a Paku was wandered in. Sorry, Paku. It's going to get a bit ugly. Could use an ice biome for cooling. Very efficient. Very. Uh, we are using an ice biome or two for cooling. I've got a couple of AETNs. Way up close to space is the first couple of these that we found. Um, and we've got the hydrogen cooling loop running through that. There's also one that I eventually found over here. Um, but it's in a pretty awkward spot to exploit at the moment, so I can't really be bothered just yet. But we could get about 50% more cooling in our hydrogen loop. Nat gas is right next to an ice biome. Indeed it is. The ice biome doesn't actually delete heat, though. Well, I guess there's a couple of wheeze warts. Uh, but apart from that, it's just, it just starts at a lower te uh, temperature. That's a lot of diamond. Just for fun. Give me that diamond. And give me some of that lead while we're here as well. And I think fossils have some value. It's huge chill storage, I guess. The water's being very clingy. Mine everything? We'll get there eventually. No. My brilliant ideas got denied again. Wow. How's our temp over here? Getting better. We do have more water coming in. Yes, we do. It's coming in at 57 degrees. Surprisingly cold, actually. Could I maybe run... Yeah, here we go. Let's run our liquid coolant loop further through here. How much oil have we got? Not that much. I should probably set up an automatic supply. Um, there actually aren't that many places to get oil from. 
Like, I want to set up a supply that's going to really last, you know? I guess we could set up a uh, oil pump jack thing on top of this. And we are unfortunately going to have to filter the input. Liquid pump. Oh wait, how hot does this get? 75 degrees. So, overheat temp starts at 75, it should be okay. How hot does this oil come out? Temperature 84? Yeah, I'm not going to trust it, we'll just make this out of steel to begin with. And then... Liquid pipe. Go. Um, I could either run automation wire all the way down to the pump, which I think would be a bit of a waste, or we could have a shutoff up here. Uh, it should be under plumbing. Here it is, liquid shut off. Just like that. Oh, I can't build it here? Really? I wonder I had this in the middle. Alright, down we go with the oil. We'll also need some wire. Uh, I think it'd be a bit of a waste of refined metal at this stage if we ran a hundred per tile all the way down to the oil biome. So let's do one more regular old power transformer. And that's going to be kind of in the way more than things already are, actually. Uh, let's put it... Can this go through here? I think it can, yeah. Here, I suppose. And we'll use some regular old wire. All the way down... Like so. Did you say oil? Uh-oh. I feel a sense of impending democracy and freedom. 4.3 cycles until we get a volcano going. Um, It really looks like I can't get this filled the way that I wanted it to. Why aren't they building this, though? How much copper do we have? 4.1 tons. There's only 40 kilograms here. Is it because we've... it's counting the copper in here? No, that's not that much. It's like 100 kilograms. Uh, I hope we're not actually at the end of our copper for now. It says we've got four tons. Oh. We've got eight tons of copper that hasn't cooled enough yet. Oh. That's a lot of thermal mass. 746 degrees. Uh, we do have some copper right here that's getting a bit cooler. Wait, what temperature is this trying to get to? 127. Oh yeah, there's like one tile in the way here. Okay. 
Yeah, there we go. It puts through a couple at a time. So I'm pretty sure overall we're able to cool it fast enough, but when the volcano has been erupting a lot, our bottleneck is cooling the copper. It doesn't seem to be cooling well. It is. I mean, bear in mind this is eight tons of copper, and we can see it ticking down by a tenth of a degree every, like, half a second. Um, but the volcano will go dormant in 32 cycles. This will have a lot more time to cool down. I guess in the meantime we should be using a bit more lead. That looks weird. What are we printing? Some iron. Seems good. 3.6 cycles until volcano erupts. Beautiful. How much lead do we have? Uh, quite a lot. Let's switch over. For now. Even if they have to walk a bit further to get it. Lead. Uh, here. And here. And here. And here. And here. We need a loop? I mean... Well... We're, we're keeping up with the overall throughput of the Copper Volcano, though. Like, this, this right here will be empty at some point. Are we out of storage? Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Let's do something about that. Don't know why all of these ladders are still here. Pretty sure this allows lead to be dropped off. That's probably why it wasn't getting swept before. Yeah. about time we dug all of this out as well. That slime biome just goes on forever. Holy crap. storage. They do have access to all this, right? Yeah. We're good. Might 
need fire pole and ladder heading down here. Oh, we got more multi-layered water towers over here. Fantastic. 2.2 cycles. I can't wait to see if it works. Alright, so that should get people to start bringing lead up. So we don't have to wait 600 years whenever we build something out of lead. Taking a very long time to get to from 50 to 60 degrees for this water. I see a bit of heat is leaking out through the insulated tile. Not that much though. Less than 30 degree water in this corner. That's what I want to see. Now what I'd really like to see is this thing filled with water. I think I'll set this to be a bit less aggressive. They didn't actually finish building this? Probably because we're out of copper. I might just leave that for now. Oh, and this I want to store bristle berry and nothing else. Uh, blossom seed, rather. How did a glossy Draco find its way over here? I'm very curious about that. I I really have no idea. Unless someone gave up what they were doing while they were doing ranching. I guess that's possible. It just occurred to me that I have never had such need. I just want to not pump heat into the base needlessly, that's all. Besides, uh, we're getting a lot more power from other sources compared to natural gas for this playthrough. I think I had like four natural gas geysers last time. What is that? A sporchid. Take advantage of the flower's attractiveness to lure unsuspecting victims into clouds of parasitic zombie spores. Zombie spore was originally designed for medicinal purposes, but its sedative properties were never refined to the point of usefulness. Ah! What the hell? Volcano's gonna blow, according to our timer. We've got 1.1 cycles left. Uh, I guess I didn't set it that well. But it basically worked. I don't know why the pause zoom, like, stopped over here somewhere.
but yeah, we should be seeing something pretty cool in one cycle. Destroy zombie spores, a boovin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need infinite storage. Um, I don't know that exploit. I wouldn't call it cool. Wouldn't call what cool? Oh, a cool geyser? You wrote expose dupe to spores wrong. Wrote? Nani? The volcano eruption. Yeah, it's happening in 0.8 cycles. Why are we making a mess? Really? You couldn't just jump down here? You don't feel like building that yourself either? Slow down? Okay. How does it work when he made a mess in his suit? Oh, lovely. I'm glad I put this where it's going to drain, for the most part. Just jump down and swim, it's fine. Yes. Why aren't we building this? Probably because it's made out of copper. Um, none of this is any good. We'll take a blossom seed. Half a cycle. Let's go. I wonder how much of this will flash to steam. Like, in the first eruption. Where is that natural gas pumped to? Uh, nowhere yet. We haven't started exploiting it yet. We are going to need a transformer for the doors. And we'll use lead for this. Uh, and I think we need one here, right? Let's just do it like that. Previous message, where is... It's not really an exploit, you just sweep and dump all items on one tile using an automatic dispenser. I see. I think, um... Don't the items that appear up here, up the top of the map, end up having a limit to how much we'll accumulate in one space? Oh, 88 seconds. 50 seconds. Let's go. And... 5, 4, 3, 2... Erupt. I said erupt. Why is it not erupting? Erupts in 10.6 cycles? What what just happened? And the hype train crashed, right? What? We don't have water over the tile where the magma comes out, do we? And we've got a vacuum in here, so it's definitely not too high pressure. 72 seconds every 9,000. Yeah. Idle erupts in 10.5 cycles. What? I have to wait an... I have to wait another 10 cycles? I feel ripped off. 
I want a refund. This is false advertising. On a shitty volcano, right? It gassed us up just to knock us down. We should have time to sweep all this stuff away. Not that I think it's gonna melt or anything, but... Alright. Speaking of volcanoes... When does this one go dormant? 28 cycles. Or this 8... It's going to be over 9 tons of copper that needs to cool down. Well, actually, the copper here doesn't have to cool down. It's the copper here that cools down. You know, I think... I think if I put more rail here... Now that we've got more steel, it's definitely not the worst idea. I'll just double check. That steel definitely melts at a higher temperature than this. So... Everything else we can probably leave as other materials. But I'm thinking if we do a loop like this... Well, it's not exactly a loop, but we can have... I, I think the stuff that's in the conveyor loader isn't cooling as fast as the stuff that's outside of it, right? Use iron instead as melting point is higher than copper. I used uh, gold amalgam. Melting point, 1,063 versus 1,500. Um, but the thing is, I've got these three tiles as steel. And I'm pretty sure those are the only ones where we actually have to worry about it melting. It may only be this tile here that's in danger of melting, actually. Oh, I think I haven't given them access in here for a while. Yeah, because they're going to pick up this copper. I'm trying to keep it, like, forbidden they're going to pick up incredibly hot copper to build stuff. But I need them to build all of this first. Priority... very high. I can't set the priority of this stuff, can I? Nope. Alright, so the moment... Uh, the moment this conveyor belt is built, I want to forbid dupes to come in here again. Please don't be coming in to pick up copper. Supplying is about a third done. I guess you can priority sweep at one. Well, I don't have any storages for copper. Um, so that it's all just sitting on the ground, and or on the conveyor rails. Um, but... And the reason was I didn't want them picking this up. Uh, but they could take it to go and build something which would immediately overheat if it's not, uh, wire or something. There we go. It's getting close to done. It's taking half the day so far. It's going to heat up wherever your conveyor goes. Yeah, it does. That's why we don't let it out of this room until it cools down to the temperature of steam. Uh, then we send it over to where the... Um, uh, the hydrogen coolant goes past, uh, and we wait until it drops below a certain temperature before we let it out of the conveyor system. New construction spawn at fixed temperature no matter what the materials? That's not true of everything, is it? 
Besides, I don't want the dupes scolding themselves when they pick it up either. Finally building... no, there's still more to go. Please get it done in one day, this is such a small project, honestly. Also, why is this not powered? Oh, I see what happened here. Yeah, it was the snippy. It wasn't specifically conveyor rail. Please don't tell me you're going to go to sleep before this one little bit of rail is done. Nope. Fantastic. Alright, so... Copper on this tile is at 279... at uh, 292 degrees. The same copper here has already dropped like 5 degrees. And it's gonna... we're gonna have much bigger batches of copper getting cooled off at a time. So now we can forbid dupes to come through this door. So we, they won't come and pick up 740 degree copper. Uh, I guess it's also gonna... It's probably gonna keep the steam a little bit warmer for longer. Because we've got all this heat saved up that we're gonna transfer into the steam. Good. Of course, it helps things cool down when the volcano stops erupting. Uh oh. Turbine too hot some of the time. That's kind of scary, actually, considering it's self-cooling. I wonder if it's been working this way the whole time. I suspect the burst of heat that we've been that we've given it because of the conveyor rail change might actually spiral it into not working, or it might be okay. If it does death spiral, I'll just bring active cooling into it. But it seems like it's going to be okay. What are we printing? Um, operating, tidying, farming. Don't care. Let's have a shine nymph. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how hot the steam can get, and this will still function. With the self-cooling system. Let's check on our other volcano. Our disappointing volcano. 8.1 cycles until it erupts. We've actually finished building down here. Oh. The transformer is underwater. Probably should have realized that. Let's do a temp one over here. Before we can build an airlock there. We getting notifications about. It's all fine. It looks like you use mods. Yeah, just a few quality of life ones and the airlock doors. That's it. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. 
welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know why we're still putting water in inconsistently here. Oh, have we risen the five degrees? Hmm. Hmm. How hot is this water? 34? Yeah, I shouldn't have changed that. Let's make that 20 degrees again. I should just get some water from... I don't really want to take these Paku out of the picture. Until we make a Paku farm, they can just frolic. Um, this one right here, though? Let's clean that up. Polluted water can go in here. Guess give us some wire down this way. And let's put like a crappy airlock here. some ladders. Should be able to reach that. May as well put in a deodorizer while we're at it. Oh, there's still polluted air down here. Got trapped. Interesting. Didn't account for that. And we put another deodorizer. I'll put it here actually. I was going to say I saw the airlocks and the service service disconnect mod. Do you mean the pliers? I find it really strange that they've adopted broken workarounds as the way to do it, like water locks, yeah. And requiring uh, water under buildings and space so you can transfer heat, yeah. It's... It, it's a bit off. Didn't realize that was actually water up here. How's our other build looking? Uh, just about ready to go. Fantastic. Let's get our most important door down here. And then we can put a water pump. I guess I'll just borrow this wire, and we'll need some pipe, and don't really care where we put it, honestly, for now. Like Minecraft, some people are like, oh yeah, you can automate with a redstone. You can do that over a 50 block area, yeah. Or you can get a mod that does the same with a couple of blocks. 
even to do like just a secret door or something, it takes a larger area than I would like with redstone. To say the least. Combinators in Factorio are a little bit like that as well. Uh, if you want to do something complex, uh, I'm not that big of a fan of how much space it takes. So we are getting, I think, more copper throughput over here. Seems good. How about our volcano? Uh, erupts in... 6.1 cycles. Okay. I'm pretty sure we should have... We, we would have seen a message somewhere that it said it was over pressure, right? Uh, if that was somehow... Because of the water? But I'm pretty sure it's this tile. Like every other volcano, it's this tile. Where the stuff actually comes out. Here we come with some lead. Fantastic. When the dormant period ends, it starts the eruption cycle with idle time. Fringe. You're correct on the volcano, it's just lazy. <laughs> okay. Did you start on the classic asteroid? Yes, I did. Manky Kitty, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Amatu, welcome, welcome also. Alright, we got our airlock. So now we can drain all of the water out of here. There's a little bit of CO2. that I'd like to get rid of as well. I guess I could throw in a mini gas pump like this. And that should already be powered. I kind of want to make sure we get rid of the gas before we get rid of the water. Been sucked into Satisfactory lately, still love this game though, so juicy indeed. How is Satisfactory doing? Have they improved certain things? Blueprints perhaps? I see what you did there, nice. Wait, what? Blueprints are there? Ooh, I might have to give it another go. Because I I really liked Satisfactory, but building anything at scale was just... Mm -mm. Like, even the scale of what is a small starter base in Factorio was a lot of work. We got print. When's this thing erupting? Uh, 5.2 cycles still. I can't believe after all that waiting, we have to wait 20% longer. We'll take a snazzy suit, I guess. We'll give it to D-Hose. I remember devs were strongly against blueprints. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking there. Some devs have some really weird... Uh, how can I put this? They want everyone to play their game their way or something. Only is the game I've put the most time into on Steam. I could see that happening. They were, I think they wanted to come up with a design that was fun without it becoming just use these blueprints to win sort of situation. 
I mean, especially building in 3D. You're either going to have something like blueprints or it's going to take a ton of repetition. Right? I don't see how there could be a way around it. We're still pumping out all of this uh, CO2 and stuff. Hey, we've got oxygen down here. Still got a bunch of crap over here, though. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should make this a room. Doesn't have to be airtight, but... Take some gold amalgam since that's most plentiful. And I think I do want to potentially have another bristle blossom farm down here. Should be way more than we need. But I'd like to be able to easily add it at the very least. Oops. Frame rate is getting a bit inconsistent. Uh, let's see. Deconstruct buildings only. There we go. Finished this part. Doodaloo. What did we achieve? One year. Okay. Cycle 365. We've got 4.2 more cycles until we maybe see Magna this time. Nobody beat Brad McQuaid. You're in our world now. <laughs> You're going to get a player bind or get none at all. NPC binds. As in, like, keystrokes? Let's put some art in place here. I suspect we really don't need this many Bristle Blossom yet. May as well have it all planted and ready to go, though. about EverQuest. I don't know that much about EverQuest. I know there was, uh... Wasn't there, like, this big monster that was supposed to be unkillable, and everyone got together to kill it, and then the devs, like, yeeted it at the last nanosecond? Because it didn't have, like, a death animation or something? Like, it, it just wasn't supposed to be killed? There's not that much CO2 in here. B 
Beep, 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 beep. We got a bunch of skills. Uh, probably not the morale to back them up, though. I'm sure I've got a dupe or two with... Lots of spare morale, though. Let's have a look. Ragnar is actually almost upset. Nails hasn't got any skills picked yet. Let's go with carrying, drilling, drilling, carrying, suit wearing, drilling two, and that's fine for now. Uh, I never actually did his priorities. Tidying, yes. Operating, supplying, storing. What happened to grilling? Wait, what? Didn't I... How is his cuisine skill 2? This alone gives him plus 2 cuisine. Don't tell me he has, like, anti-cooking traits. And I just gave him cooking skills. Um, bio? Personal interests, supplying, cooking, tidying. He is a kitchen menace. Oh no. I guess I could skill scrub him, but I I'm just not going to bother, to be honest. Um, we'll just have that as a lower priority for him. We've already got a cook, anyway. Yeah, that happened. I also had a friend that killed a GM because he noticed the GM took off their invulnerability ring for some reason. He got banned for that one. Sounds like the GM made the mistake. Wide open. I'd really like to get more water. Can we do that? We are doing that. Not that much water yet. Um, I don't want to take this hot water in. I mean, we're kind of already doing that over here. It's just slower than I would think. It's bottlenecked on cooling with automation. Hmm. Let's head down this way. And I'm just realizing they probably won't reach to build all of this stuff, depending on the order. The binding thing was that your respawn location was created by being Bound in a city zone. I see. Late at night, especially on less populated servers, you couldn't find a player to bind your respawn location. Ouch. Can we get a volcano eruption? 2.5 cycles. At this point, I kind of don't want to get my hopes up again. <laughs> I've had my heart broken by this volcano before. We are one pipe away from that build starting to do its thing. As well, decon this liquid pump. Oh, there's a bunch of polluted water up here. Let's see about getting it. Maybe like 
like this. And it might be easier to do this one like so. Might need a ladder or two. And then we'll just connect these. I wish they'd hurry up and build this. Seems like they're doing everything else here. What type of volcano is that? This one? It is a volcano volcano. Uh, it outputs magma. Which uh, just gives us igneous rock when it cools down. But it's probably going to give us a lot more heat than other volcanoes. Um, I'm told you need three or four steam turbines to keep up with it. Maybe we're going to find out we need more than that. But either way, I'm eager to find out. Okay, so we're finally pumping this polluted water around. Actually, maybe I should add that to our reservoir. Might be a good idea. That's oil. Oh, I see. Uh, in that case... Let's go around. Nope, don't go that way, actually. It's backward. And I changed my mind. I don't want this liquid vent. Can we stop that one for the moment? Now I want to pump over here as well. Our water sea over is going to be busy for a while. Volcano sends out tears of disappointment, indeed. Blaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess we'll do this loop again. should be everything set up for when and if we want to expand our food. Considering we have 300,000 K calories, probably not for a while. Come to think of it, looking at this, I want to put this pump down here. And dig out the rest of this, please. Why is this not powered? Oh, I see. So now we get crude oil? Or... Yeah, we do. Cool. I didn't even know that was getting done. Uh, let's check this automation, which we haven't done yet. So we just need to check that... 
crude oil in this container is greater than is less than some amount. Does it give green or red when it's full? Red, perfect. Okay. So how about red signal once you're more than 20% and green if you're empty? Because there's gonna be some lag time. The volcano is shaking. Point nine cycles. I hope this is the actual eruption this time. Oh, and I haven't done this connection yet. Alright, here comes the automation wire. And power as well, please. I'm surprised how close our crude oil uh, supply came to... Like, it, it, it's actually like a perfect fit. With the size of this loop, there's just a little bit left in the reservoir. But if we ever want to expand it or take some crude oil and put it somewhere else, this will automatically resupply. Don't miss it, it is very easy. As in easy to miss. We still got half a cycle. So when the Rotation thing is like down here. It'll be time to look at the volcano. Oh, we need a bridge. Whoops. Automation by bridge. And it looks like everything else is done. Could could we finish this, please? Come to think of it... Oh yeah, no, that'll work. Cool, it is working. I'm surprised this is green, though. It should have only gone green when this, what, got empty? Oh well. Um, let's test it and see how close, how much, how how extra full this gets beyond 20% with these settings. I'm sure it'll be fine. Here we go. It's happening. Let's put it on normal speed. One second. Yes! Steam is at 176 degrees over here. Uh, yes, we do got steam. Volcano is go. Thank you, notification. And now the power is connected over here. So... Now that we have gas, these things can run and not instantly overheat. Or not instantly, but eventually cook themselves. Uh, are these missing automation wire? We didn't melt some lead or something, did we? Filter's not designated. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be... Igneous rock? Or I could just allow anything, to be honest. But let's just say igneous rock. Fantastic. This thing's supposed to be set to below 126 degrees. We're just missing a piece of automation wire. 
Let's make it out of copper. How's our steam turbines doing? Well, I think it, even if they can't keep up, it'll take more than a, a second for them to overheat. Looks like the water's flashing to steam pretty damn quick. That was as explosive as only gets. Could use the temp shift plates to help spread the temperature, perhaps. Wow, that magma is actually... Oof, okay. I thought I was being paranoid making all of this out of obsidian. Uh, but it's actually spreading around. A vent melted? Was it over here? Yeah. Wow. Wait, no. A vent's not made out of iron. Something over here probably melted. Under thermo. Under thermo? What do you mean thermo? Thermo regulator? Yeah, I was not expecting this. Oh! We got copper melting. So this thing, this thing vomits out a lot more heat than the other volcanoes. Uh, what melted? Good question. You have a piece of iron in the pipe. In the pipe? What, what pipe? Hmm. We might have to expand... Uh... Expand our... What do you call it? Conveyor rail, like before. So that it's got more exposure to the steam. This is a solo cable. Ascend Anima. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... I actually don't know what that copper was. Literally no idea. Because everything seems to still be here and working. How hot is it over here? 161 degrees now that things have settled a little bit. Looks like our steam turbines with the self-cooling can keep up. Uh, and I hadn't even really thought about... Oh. Wait, was something damaged over here? I missed it. How hot is it? We've got a vacuum in here, so we shouldn't expect any heat to get through. How hot is this thing? Made of copper, and its temperature is 160 degrees. Automation wire? I mean, I can't see anything where the automation wire is actually missing, though. Uh, I already, like, I'd just forgotten to build this before. And the copper would have, whatever metal it was made out of, would have landed down here. So, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Very strange. We are getting our steam turbine over here above 100 degrees, but it keeps sputtering and working at least some of the time. How long till this thing erupts again? 14.4 cycles. I think we're going to be fine. Probably. I see two of them occasionally overheated now. Oh wait, we are doing active cooling. I forgot. 
we're doing active and passive cooling. Uh, running these thermoregulators to cool down this uh, hydrogen. Even so, it's going in at 72 degrees. There we go. So what's our temperature here? 164? It's going to take a while to cool down. This igneous rock down here is still 1100. Why is it so much cooler on the conveyor rail, I wonder? Alright, could you two stop telling me when you're overheated? Same with you. If this one over here gets overheated, we really know we're in trouble. Well then. I like how we've got the igneous rock on the ground at uh, 1200 degrees, so the water dropping back down immediately flashes back to steam. Nice. 13.8 cycles we have to cool this steam down. If we're net positive on temperature over the course of the volcano erupting uh, over its active period, it might end up not being able to work. Then again, we are getting power from external sources to do a hydrogen cooling loop here. So it should be able to fix itself. Even so, uh, I think next time I would probably do a bigger steam room. Like maybe six steam turbines around a volcano like this, so it doesn't uh, end up with something, end up with three of them keep going overheat. I'm actually surprised they keep going overheat, actually. Even if the hydrogen is 72 degrees going in. Which is surprisingly hot. Pretty long downtime on eruption, yeah. Well, well I think it's going to take a long time to get cooled down igneous rock. Um, but I don't really care about that. It's more. F this one is actually more for the electricity. Pumping this. Yeah, but no. And this one goes here. That's already done. Fantastic. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why are these not growing? Fertilization? Yeah. We need to make a fertilizer synthesizer one of these days. This is actually good, it's going to be a bit slower, um, the water dropping down here, which means our mini gas pump should have plenty of time with no intervention from us uh, to make this a vacuum. It also gives us a ton of polluted water to bottleneck through our CF and 
slowly fill up our reservoir over here. Which it looks like is nice and cool right now. Uh, the hottest water is like 28 degrees. It's not too bad. Is that the same glossy Draco from before that made its way out? Somehow? I'm just going to wrangle it. I kind of like this, uh... this gas to get out of here. What are you doing in there? So that's actually two glossy Dracos, at least, that found their way outside. Maybe an egg found its way outside, and it's been snacking on the mealwood. Well, they have been snacking on the mealwood. There was an egg early on, like our first egg, I think it was, a glossy dracula egg. It was in the middle of this door somehow. So what should we do next? Seems like we've got our volcano probably tamed. Probably. There must be more heat on the right side over here. 167, 166. That's not very different. Why is this one always more efficient than these guys? I wonder if that bar includes the recent downtime from them overheating. Probably? Kind of at a loss as to what to do next, actually. Uh, we should get more steel throughput if we can get more cooling throughput, basically. It seems like we've already got quite a bit. Yes, it's Oni. Hello, love Kelly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess I could try and if I loop the cool oil through here, maybe that water will cool a bit faster. Let's get some radiant pipe. Hey, they finished this. And we've got a lot more copper all of a sudden. Oh, there's not going to be room. Because we're trying to get polluted water from up here as well. Also, it doesn't seem like they have proper access over here. How can I cool this? Or cool it more, I suppose. If I swap these for Radiance... That's gonna go a long way. We had those as Radiant before, but... Uh, was before we had this much capacity to cool the area. Speaking of which...
Just do a jagged loops? Okay, that water's cooling down pretty damn quick. Uh, that's what I want to see. That'll probably increase our steel throughput a bit better. Um, I'd also like an active... the oil cooling loop to go through here a bit. But I haven't made it easy on myself. I think I need to add another bridge here. This will probably be enough. Probably. Might want to transition to crude oil as a metal refinery coolant and run it through the steam room. Yeah, I did that at first, and then for some reason it ended up coming out, and then I couldn't be bothered replacing it. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as it stays within a certain range, besides which the water has a much... the water is much more heat conductive than the crude oil. The crude oil advantage is it has a wider range. Can we get this built nice and quick? Could do that too, indeed. Uh, how full did our... Oh, this is actually the, the worst time to check it because we just stopped the loop. Yeah, I'll have to check when that reconnects. So conductive meant capacity. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure water... Uh, water liquid. Thermal conductivity is 0.6. Capacity is very high as well. Uh, crude oil... Oh! Uh, is way more conductive. It's the opposite, kind of. How did I misremember that? Hmm. Hmm. But if I do replace this... Uh... Oh wait, no, it should be easy to fill it. Yeah, it's going to be easy to fill it now. It's actually harder to just empty it. Okay, let's do that. Um, so decon... And that'll give us water bottles. Crude oil is also stable up to 400C. Yep. Uh, and then we want extract pipe contents. For all of this. And once that's done, we'll just build another uh, liquid reservoir. Yeah, I was thinking I would have to get the dupes to do uh, to use bottle fillers or bottle emptiers again, but we've literally got crude oil right here. How much longer till that next eruption? 10.3 cycles, and we're down to 136 degrees steam. Seems to be doing okay. We've also picked up more of the igneous rock. You can see the temperature ticking down over here. Getting slower though. I don't know if it's ever reaching 126. Uh, what are we building? Uh, building? Printing. 
Let's get some, some shine nymphs, why not? Oh, they're taking their sweet time with this. If you disable a reservoir, it stops outputting. I did not know that. But we have to decon it to get the water out regardless, right? Oh, how empty was it? Could have maybe made this a bit simpler. Oh well, it's fine. Well, not simpler, but easier. Let's put it that way. Maybe I should have more steam turbines. Extend this to the left. We'll see. Erupts in 9.7 cycles. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, did we get rid of all the polluted oxygen over here? I think we did. That transformer is overheating? Really? Was it this one? Yeah, I thought I saw that before. How is it getting so hot? We've got polluted oxygen up here. It only outputs the same heat as a regular transformer, I believe. 1,000? What's it made out of? Lead. Overheat. At 50 degrees. Okay. It's not that hot. Over here, but we are... I was going to say leaking heat. That shouldn't really be possible. At least, not very much. Maybe I should do, like, double insulated tiles or something. Alright, let's go for copper. That'll be plus 70 degrees compared to the last one. Obsidian is terrible at insulating, uh, but we need the melting point. We literally had magma down here. Turns to magma at 20... 2726 degrees. This comes out at 1726. Thermal conductivity 2. That does seem like a log. Igneous raw. Also has a thermal conductivity of 2. A lot of things will go horribly bad before you melt igneous rock insulating tile. Like igneous rock magma falling on the tile. Slow heating modifier, okay. Check insulating tiles conductivity. Yeah, I did. It's, uh, well, the material is 2.0, but insulated tile specifically? That's a mesh tile. It doesn't say anything extra here. It takes over 100 cycles to melt in direct contact with magma. Really? bit surprised by that. Uh, not if you make ladders, though. The ladder would have melted. Need to check the build tile. Yeah, no, I made it out of obsidian, so it wouldn't melt. Blueprint different material insulating tiles and check their properties. Yes, I have seen that. I, I do understand that much. Uh, obsidian is... 
thermally reactive, which is requires little energy to raise in temperature. Heats and cools relatively quickly. Uh, but it does have the melting point. I could always just do a double layer. Oh, this one's no longer looking more efficient than these ones. Probably because the temperature's getting lower. And the active cooling over here doesn't matter as much. Yeah, it's because these ones aren't reaching 100 degrees. Melting point doesn't matter unless you want to store liquid magma. I don't want to store it, but the magma did find its way all the, all the way over here. But I suspect that was only because we had all of this water at first. And I think on the next iteration, it's probably going to be... It's probably maybe going to look a lot more like when Molten Copper comes out. Whereby it's only Molten on this tile. Um, but I'll wait and see before I change something. The reason for double layer is that eventually the first layer is going to get hot because it's in direct contact. Yes. Yeah, so the heat doesn't bleed to the rest of the map, or at least it doesn't bleed to the rest of the map quickly. Um, we do have a vacuum here, so... This part shouldn't really be getting that hot. In fact, I don't know how this airlock door is that hot at all. Maybe it's unrelated to the volcano, because this, this is all kind of warm. Hmm... Do the pinch of pepper plants create heat? I don't think plants give off that much heat, like, ever, do they? Simply Coco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cool, we're already down to 138 degrees. Eight cycles left. I think it is going to hit 126 degrees. But the overall throughput might be really atrocious if we don't add more rail. I'm not ter terribly worried about our infinite igneous rock, though. Just want to see what happens. Alright, are we ready? Uh, pretty much. Time to add our liquid reservoir back here. I could always... Hmm. Nah, I, I kind of want this to have its own separate cooling loop. Alright, so let's get some pipe. The airlock is orange because the biome above it is orange. Yeah, it really could be. I am a bit surprised that the transformer, even if it was made out of lead, got hot enough to take damage. But considering that this is only 32 degrees... Uh, I don't think we're leaking heat that quickly. Yeah, this is under 30 up here. Well, that's our steam turbine, actually. Never mind. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Crude oil goes in here. Fantastic. And I'll want to stop 
when... But probably as soon as we've got enough to fill these two uh, refineries, is what I was going to say, but then they're in use, so it's harder to tell. Oh no. Um... We've got mixed fluids in here. Hmm. The refinery itself had water. Let's decon this one. Actually, pro uh, priority nine. I want someone good at deconstruction to do it. Just empty it? Yeah, we're going to do that. But first... And decon that one. And then empty pipes. And then we'll just have to put them back. Okay. Not too difficult. It should be okay to let this keep running while we're doing this. And that's it. Uh, apparently, if there's no water left there, they take just as long to redo that. Alright, now let's replace the refineries. Um, uh, probably doesn't really matter what we build it out of. And it's gonna be steel and then iron, I think it was. Yeah, I can see the, uh, the steel over here. Okay. We've got a bit of oil in there, we'll try that for now. Refineries have a button to empty the entire storage, materials, and liquid. I did not know that. Empty storage. There it is. That would have been the first time... Well, maybe not the first time I would have found that useful. Maybe the third. Alright, so this is steel forever. And this one is iron forever. Fantastic. Well, that one already got used. Well, iron is a prerequisite for steel, so it doesn't really matter if this one starves this one. It's coming out at over 100 degrees, and it has to be below 30 to... Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, it's not coming through here. Yeah, that's... That's correct, that's perfect. So only when we run the Thermo Aqua Tuna is that going to get cooled down. I could actually put some radiant pipe here. If the crude oil can go 100, above 100 degrees, um, it can help heat up the steam. Uh, it's going to... no, it's 125 I'm thinking of. Never mind. All right. Speaking of steam, we're at 85 degrees down here. I'm thinking we could maybe be a little bit more aggressive with this uh, 
Uh, it wouldn't really make a difference overall. The battery has to be full before we run the Thermo Aqua Tuna, but I think I could set it so we go down to like 25 degrees uh, percent before we turn this off. Okay. That actually seems fine already. The amount of crude oil we've got here. It also exchanges heat with this room that's getting cooled in other ways. My idea for crude oil was to not need Aquatuna cooling and have it in direct contact with steam. As in, like, radiant pipe here. I was thinking of doing that for a minute. Yeah, because we can actually go to, what, 400 degrees? I want to be a bit careful about that, because... Flashing it to... Uh, what is it called? Nasty gas. It's not my idea of a good time. Uh... Hello? Crude oil? Petroleum? Sour gas, that's what I was thinking of. Well, that's probably not going to happen. So, I could set this to have to be below a higher temperature. How many degrees does it increase? I think it tells us somewhere. Right? How much it's going to heat the crude oil. Or is that only the aqua tuna? Cob Coblade, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. need to tear this up. That's not difficult. This, if we're going to do this, this should definitely be uh, not radiant, but insulated pipe again. So we insulate all of this. We forget about the aqua tuna. We use radiant pipe in here. We drop the steam, uh, we drop the crude oil down to a chilly 125 degrees or so. Uh, and we don't actually pay any electricity to cool the crude oil, at least not directly. Because this room is going to gain some heat, and we're cooling that in other ways, but that's fine. Alright, let me just snip this for now, we'll drain that. So just yeah, I mean I've done the I've done the passive cooling before. Um, I was using crude oil last playthrough, uh, way up here to cool uh, solar panels and so on. Uh, all of the heat gained from regolith dropping by. There were no aqua tuners or anything like that involved. The only thing that's different here is we're doing it way down in the middle of our base. Uh, 
Okay. Um, what's taking them so long? Wait, why is the crude not moving? What? Why is this not moving? We've got a couple of pieces of pipe that we want to change type here, but there's no reason why... Huh? What? What? Could, could you... There we go. Why isn't that going through? It goes through this way now. What the hell? What? Nani? I, I guess I'll just... Just, just do it like that? Until it empties? That is so strange. Right? Okay, so we don't need the Thermo Aqua Tuna. Uh, we want to swap out all of these pipes. Probably leave those insulated ones. This insulated stuff can stay. Um, that's going to connect like that. And... You could probably just radiant pipe all the way through this room. Except for where the liquid vents are. Maybe like this. That's looking pretty good. And then down here. Get some bridges. And that's gonna go up there. Uh, and we still have the sensor to say... Well, I want to see how much the oil gets heated up by one operation here. Do we have any crude in there? I think somewhere it told us last time, but I can't find where it is. We've got 60 kilograms of crude at 26.6 degrees in here. That's not enough for a recipe. It's not under energy. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. I don't think it's going to tell us. You can t check the temp increase in the refinery. Just click on a metal. Oh, so different recipes do different amounts. That's why. Iron to steel. Heat 117 kilojoules. And you have to mouse over that. Very easy to find. Uh, by 138 degrees. Okay, we're going to call that 150. And we need to keep the oil below 400, I believe. Um, crude oil. 400. Okay. So, let me just be absolutely sure. 250. Let's just call it 200 to be super safe. Um, if temp is below 200 degrees... Let it go through to the refinery. And... If it doesn't go there, bring it up this way. And then we've got our coolant loop without a aqua tuna. 
Can we get that done today, please? So it comes out at 2.37 at the moment. Steam turbine max efficiency is just under 200C. Well, yeah, but it has to exchange heat with all of the steam. Uh, it's not necessarily going to do it that quickly. It'll still work even if it goes over 200C anyway. Did I set this? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Suppress current. Suppress current. What's this thing's temperature? Already down to 123 degrees. There we go. There we go. It's actually exchanging heat pretty quickly. I probably didn't need to do this whole snake, but I don't care. And one more. Fantastic. So it actually only needs, let's see, 246 degrees. We'll give it some time to go through. Looks like, looks like one pass is all it takes to get below the temperature of steam turbine steam. Nice. Very cool. Now imagine if it was aluminium pipes? There's no such thing as aluminium. Or aluminum. aluminum. I'm, but the joke is that I haven't seen that in this game. Not that aluminum is the correct pronunciation, because it's not. And also, how dare you. Um, cool. Yeah, that'll work a bit better, to say the least. Uh, and we're not vomiting any of that heat back into this room. Still need to pick up that crude oil again. Some of it. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Don't sweep. Don't sweep everything that's on the buttons, please. Uh, just the water bottles. Aluminum? Oh god. Oh no. Now you can improve it further by not sharing a pipe with refinery outputs. What do you mean? This is perfect, actually. Also, try harder planets. Those easy peasy planets never have aluminium. I wouldn't call any Oni map easy peasy. Especially when you don't get a cool salt slush geyser, or and or can't find an uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier for like a hundred cycles or so. Um, I told them to submit Bioscan over here ages ago, but maybe they have to do it on the left. Alright, how's our volcano doing? I think we missed the second eruption, but it looks like it's all going quite smoothly now. Uh, let's see, 2.4 cycles. I really want to see the next one. 70C everywhere by default can be rough. 70C. 70C. Uh, don't understand, but it's fine. 
We could probably put a bit more crude oil in this. Oh wait, no, this part isn't looping because it's cold enough. I don't think it's ever... Oh no, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> when it comes out of here, it's definitely going to be hot enough that it's going to go up this way, obviously. Honestly, if I'd known that... Well, okay, this was designed ages ago with different... I, uh, with different stuff in mind. But if I'd realized that just one lap through here would get the crude oil down to the minimum temperature, uh, I wouldn't bother with the automation over here. How could I reshape it so that we... Don't do that. There's actually nothing in this liquid reservoir. Oh, we need more. Because all of it has gone into the first metal refinery, not the second one. If I could put in just the right amount of crude oil that we don't even need the liquid reservoir, um, that would theoretically be a bit better. No, I think we do need the automation, don't we? No, not if we can be absolutely sure that one lap reduces the oil to min temperature. So one lap from here, and then straight into the input, and then the output, and then just go back up here. It's a little sketchy, I feel like. How... How is a pip in here? What? How? What? How, how is a gloss? What? I'm so confused. Also, why is there a pip egg? I can only guess they... I've never seen it happen in the stables where... Creatures move through the doors when people open them for a split second. And this is, well, it's not exactly as stable, but it does have a critter drop off. I imagine they got stuck in here when, you know what, just wrangle them. Don't attack. I imagine they got stuck in here when the doors were opening and closing a lot. But I wouldn't have thought they'd even be allowed to try and move through that. It was fixed ages ago, but not for these modded doors, perhaps. That's the only place we've seen it happen. If, well, we haven't actually seen it happen, but you get the idea. Oh, I may have put too much crude in. No, I think we're fine. This thing still looks empty. But the loop is looking pretty full. Our inputs for the metal refineries are actually saturated. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, I kind of want just a tiny bit more crude in here, so that this is always saturated. Amoto, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice. That should be fine, I think. I mean, it was probably fine regardless. Got a run, but a friend of mine recommended you and said you were playing Oni, so I'm glad I came and checked it out. Cheers. Uh, see you next time. Have a good one. Uh, what should we print? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I miss... It erupts in 1.0 cycles. Perfect. I guess we'll take another wart seed. 
I do reservoir per refinery though. This may misbehave in a bad way. Uh, the metal refineries don't hold onto that much input. Uh, let's see. 800 kilograms each. 400 kilograms, what the hell? Oh no, it's actually like 1200. We've got two separate temperatures? Okay. That's kind of weird. Uh, regardless, the reservoir is actually pretty empty, and it can take up to five tons of water. Also, the fact that we've now got the... Well, it doesn't matter, but the coolant moving more slowly through here, because this is outputting, uh, gives it more time to equalize temperature with the steam. Point seven cycles. What's our temperature here? Still 150. Hey, we did get some igneous rock ejected out here eventually. At only 107 degrees right now. Maybe that... No. I was going to say maybe that's where the heat over here has been coming from. But uh, nothing had been put out here yet. That's fine. I'd like to get this iron swept up, and then I think I'll make it so that no one's allowed in here. It's taking a very, very long time to empty this. I know we're putting a lot of different water sources through our water CF, but it's just a bit more than I expected. Also... Um, our water level is rising very nicely. Looks like the heat there is from the transformer. It's not that much heat, though. It's only... Uh, it's only the same as a regular transformer. 1,000 DTUs. Speaking of which... Oh, this one works now? Surprisingly. Let's decon that. That poor one water CF? What do you mean? Look, it only takes 200 seconds to fill up one tile of water down here. Going through the water CF. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a lot. Let's let's build a couple more. Um I kinda wanna make this all mesh tile. Just for the hell of it. I'm not actually using this gas vent, let's remove that. And we'll put I can only actually fit two more, so don't even bother. Unless I want to move this stuff. I don't particularly want to put the bottle emptier way over here. But if I had like one, two, three... Yeah. What's in here? Ice and snow. Okay. We cleaned the air ages ago. So, water CF number one can go there. And then we have two, three. And we'll have some polluted water pipe. Going in like this. And this can go... that's not right. This can go over here. 
And then we need some electricity. It's only 120 watts. It's probably okay to connect this. It's actually got maximum of 1,000 watts already. Um, I think I should move this storage bin and make this a bigger transformer. And we'll upgrade all of these wires. Don't forget the bridge. It will remove the old one, right? The old wire, that is. Uh, and we're going to need a transformer. Big one. Right about here. All of that, your highest priority. Nope. nope. Throughput of one is five kilograms, two would utilize one pipe efficiently. Oh, true. We'd need more pipes if I'm going to have more than two of these, right? Hold on, let me check. Five kilograms a second, yeah. So I'll move this over a bit. Cancel all that for now. Uh, rip supply job. Whoops. Let's do it like that. Kill the old wires. And put in the new wires. Seems good. Make sure you replace those wires first. Killing wires? What? Adroit? Adrocus? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, I think I missed the eruption. What the hell is this? Bruh. Um... Is that going to cause problems, or is it going to sort itself out? How did this happen? Now I really, really, really want to know if... It should have a melting point of like... Yeah, 1400 degrees. The magma should melt it again, right? I definitely wasn't expecting... Uh... This. Igneous rock tile that has something in it that we can dig out. If I don't dig it out myself, do we not get the prize? It might seal itself next eruption. 
Oh, this one can get too hot. I don't really care to know that as long as it never gets to the point where none of these can work. And considering we're actively cooling them, I don't think that's a thing. Hey, Mazzle Fazzle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When lava solidifies, it can create solid tile of enough material, if enough material is present. Usually you use an auto miner for that problem, or a special construction that dilutes the lava. Hmm. Steam doesn't exchange heat fast enough? I don't think that active cooling is working. It is though. Look, it's still outputting water. It's still taking this heat and turning it into electricity. And most importantly, deleting the heat. Well, I guess it's not the most important thing. It's equally important. I want electricity out of this place. I am surprised how much it's struggling with both passive and active cooling, though. The, uh... The fact that the... Hydrogen is going in here at 75 degrees is a bit uh, more than expected. I guess it makes sense. It comes out here at almost 100. And then we've got a pair of regulators to cool it down. So subtract about 28 degrees and then add a little bit. Hmm. And if uh, passive cooling alone was enough, it would probably be going in at like 72 degrees or something. Gas cooling is bad, but it's gas cooling and liquid cooling. It's not just gas cooling. Alright, do we have more water CFs working yet? Why is it taking so long? Properties, copper, errands, supply... Uh, we have a little bit of copper up here. I think the problem is our 11.1 .1 tons of copper that we can't use right now. Erupts in 38 seconds. You know what? We're going to run the experiment. We're going to see if... We're going to see if 500 degree copper doesn't add a bunch of heat down here when we build with it. I fear someone's going to get scalded, though. That's the other reason to do this. Those thermoregulators just waste energy. If we didn't have those thermoregulators, the steam turbines wouldn't be running right now. They'd just be stuck at over 100 degrees. What are we printing? Uh, pretty much nothing. I wish I could catch them building something with this hot copper. Alright, let's follow Sigma Bean. He's just storing it? I thought I... I thought I forbade storing copper. What the hell? None of these permit copper. What? None of them have copper either. Did he store something else? I 
don't understand. You lose 50% mass when mining a tile. Yeah, I know the aqua tuner's more efficient. It's also way more energy costly, and we're not that we're not that late game yet. Um, we also can't run cooling pipes behind here and also do the passive cooling. Uh, that is to say, we can run liquid pipes and we can run gas pipes. We can't run liquid pipes and liquid pipes. The important thing is we're able to delete this heat, which we are. Ditch the passive cooling. I'm not going out of my, I'm not going that far out of my way to bring active cooling all the way down here just yet. Alright, can we get this built? Yes, we can. I haven't actually seen anyone getting scalded um, since bringing this copper in, which is really surprising me. I know that uh, with wires it only matters if it actually melts, but I would have at least expected a bunch of heat added over here. They're still taking their sweet time building it. Like, really taking their sweet time building it. It's literally just... just a bit of wire. You already get so much energy from the volcano. Yeah, so why are we worrying about, uh, like 500 watt? to keep the steam turbines running. Although, I could definitely set them up so that... we don't have to run them as much. Unless... I wish I could detect if these things were overheating. Which they are, at the moment, on and off. Hmm. We are reaching almost 100 degrees by the time the radiant gas pipe comes back. So that is enough conductivity. You could add temp sensor inside. Yeah, but it doesn't detect the steam turbine's temperature itself. It, it would just have to be like this, this tile in particular, for example. But with just these two regulators, I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I'm surprised two regulators, even during the volcano's downtime, are working full-time to keep these turbines active, or mostly active. I think next time I would build like six steam turbines and try passive cooling. But what we'll probably do when and if I feel like it is bring our crude oil over here. Except I don't know... Hmm. Maybe if I make the passive cooling worse. We could have a lap of the crude oil going up the top. It could use the natural ties above to plant some warts. I don't think that's going to cut it. Warts are pretty slow anyway. Uh, Scruffkin? 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It'll work until Steam reaches 275. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We're at 137 at the moment. Okay, wait. How is this thing 248 degrees? Uh, oh, that's the actual object. Up. Yeah, the steam temp is too... I've been misreading this. I thought it was at like 137 degrees. We definitely need more steam turbines. I'm surprised it took this long. Um, if it was going to be unstable in the long term. But I think we should add at least two more turbines here. Okay. One and a two. And like this. Yeah, I actually like kept glancing at this and thinking it was 137 degrees. Whoops. How can we repair this without messing this up? I think I should dig through this way. Temporarily put some ladders down there. Uh, and we'll want some more steam room. Actually, I'll make this a vacuum. These two rooms. And then build a tile here. I need to let this water out. don't suppose I have a way to prevent the volcano from erupting now. I can build around it. Because if this doesn't get done fast enough, we're actually in trouble. Let's make that top priority. Looks like they should have path for all of that. Don't dig yourself in. Pretty please. I'm gonna have to babysit them like crazy, aren't I? Water's doing well at least. And over here, we are creeping towards another set of steam turbines actually doing things. We've got 10.3 cycles before the next eruption. Need like two times more turbines? Possibly. I'm curious to see where the line is though. I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, if I extend this out, the hydrogen is never going to come back at more than like 100 degrees, because the steam turbines can't run above that temperature. Hmm. I can put more hydrogen, when I expand the room, we'll be putting more hydrogen in. Which will cool the room a bit to start with, so we'll get that initial bit of help. We can print... Nothing good, we'll take the spicy tofu. Uh, 
Hmm. Calories are maybe not that high. Hey, we finally finished all this. And wait, what? Can they not reach this? Probably not. Let's pray with that as well. I don't want a wire short. Please check the uptime in the steam turbine. Do you can see the uptime? Where is it? I'd love to see this in Factorio. Satisfactory has it. I wish you could search these things. I don't see it. In properties... This cycle, last cycle. Okay. And surprising no one, this one's a lot higher. Last 5, 44% on this one. Yeah, 27, 30, 35. So it's going down. Makes a ton of sense. Hey, no one got trapped. We did it. So we do have the luxury of time now to um, to fix this. Unless those insulated tiles are literally just going to melt. Okay. Um... I guess I don't have to make this a super high priority, but I would like it to get done. Not that we strictly need this big of a steam room, but I guess it can't hurt. May or may not be a good idea to add more water. And before I forget, this is why I was looking over here. Uh, we do want to shut this door. Ten point six, ten point five tons. Is this thing idle? Next activity: fifty-three cycles. Yes, it is. All right, cool. As long as our copper throughput cooling down isn't that bad. Uh, is is faster than it actually gets produced. Nice. So how much steel do we have right now? 2.8 tons. I see not enough on this tile precisely to stop the uh, refinery from running. Oh, I probably need to increase the uh, priority on it. There we go. Okay. It's actually a pretty convenient spot for the polluted water to drain. If I want to beat the game, how many cycles are needed? I have no idea. I'm taking my sweet time figuring stuff out, doing experiments and things. Hundreds, I would imagine, unless you're literally, you know, a speedrunner who's figured out the entire game. I wonder what... Hmm... I wonder what ballpark of sp uh, cycles you're looking at for, like, world record. Do people speedrun this? People speedrun everything, right? Surely someone speedruns this. Do 
Define beat game? I don't know, launch a rocket? Rocket percent? 28 cycles? <laughs> wow. That exceeds my expectations. To say the least. I'm guessing... I'm guessing the moment the game is finished, you'd be left with a colony of doomed dupes or something. They're just about to starve to death. Base game has two endings you can reach. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't set this to be dug, did I? That would probably help. Exactly? Yep. Speedrunner things. Speedrunners are like paperclip maximizers, except their time minimizes instead. A speedrunner will drop a thousand dollars on you or lop your head off without hesitation, depending on which saves them time. Speedrunners usually don't care about the colony's future, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. Right, we can probably... Can we mop this? No. How about after we do this? And... Why don't we dig this stuff away? all that depending on the order not like torture camp needs future <laughs> oh no hey we got the steam in here fantastic been a long time coming. Yes, I know we've got steam. You can stop. Stop now. Uh, what's this gas vent for? I remember. It's for when this flashes to steam. It's not that it really matters. It's just a nice little milestone. Our active cooling loop for the base. Uh, now gives us back a little bit of electricity. Mirathi, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Astro Colony. What's that like? Aside from the obvious, I guess. Um, looks like... To the surprise of no one. Oh, I was going to say our uptime on these steam turbines is trending upward. But it's actually still going down. Which is kind of weird. Because we stopped the heat source. I mean... It wouldn't have made a difference yet. This thing hasn't erupted again. Breaking all the things. Nice, I guess. It's sci-fi satisfactorio. In space with microplanets. That sounds cool. Alright, um, I'm gonna want... Uh... I'm gonna want a temporary airlock up here. And wire going this way. And drop the priority on that one. 
actually just crank up the priority on these wires right here. And then we get a gas pump. Uh, maybe two. Make it faster. some power. Let's prioritize these wires. We'll need to mop this up as well. Early access, so I was finding all the glitches, but fun in an exploratory sense. Nice. Uh, there's another. There's another good early access game I wanted. I haven't seen. I haven't played it much myself yet, but I've seen. Uh... Oh my god! Why am I blanking on a name? Uh, I've seen one of my favorite streamers playing a bit of, uh, it's called Stardeus, I guess? I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Star D-E-U-S. Seems really good. Triple F is out. Woob talks about the recent native version to run on Apple Silicon. Apple Silicon? What is that? Oh, they're actually almost done with the wiring here. Fantastic. It's those new MacBook with M1 and M2 chips. Huh. So like a tablet? A chip made from Apple peels. Seems good. This one's gonna be here, right? Yeah. So like this, I think. Apple has their own CPUs, of course. It all has to be proprietary and not upgradable or fixable. Operating, supplying, digging. I think we're good. Everyone's got balloons. Alright, we've got the wire in place. You can go ahead and build the airlock door now. Actually, don't bother until the room is sealed. Oh hey, our little gas pump that can doing its thing. We're down to the milligrams of gas left in this area. Perfect. And it looks... hmm. It looks like polluted water is going to off-gas some of the time. Whatever. It's taking so long to drain this water that... what? 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 Huh? Why are we no longer pushing water through this pipe? No power. Oh. Oh, because this ended up submerged again. After I removed the uh, temporary... 
uh, transformer over here. This one ended up submerged again. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Sneaky. At least our little uh, gas pump is getting plenty of time to do its job, I guess. I think uptime is trending back upward. Yeah, the last one is kind of still the same. And these ones are all the same or slightly lower. What's with this one? Last five cycles 36%, this cycle 36%, last cycle 47% uptime. Maybe it's electrical supply to run these things? Maybe? I don't think we're having any energy problems, though. Hmm. Oh, wow. Our crude oil is actually... not cold enough. To not run the aqua tuna, it's actually because we're conserving energy. Never mind. Okay, how's this build doing? Let's hurry up and get this part sealed. Mop that up, please. How's our oxygen? Super duper fine. Are we throwing oxygen out? Doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing a single bit of oxygen actually that we've uh, discarded. I would have thought I'd probably want to move the element sensor up here a bit more, but uh, apparently this is fine. We're never quite sucking in oxygen here. It says the building is flooded, but the smart battery seems to just work regardless. Do you not count polluted oxygen? Not really. Hmm, there is quite a bit of polluted oxygen down here now, though. This used to all be CO2. Um, why don't I just put some air purifiers below where this pump is? the simplest solution, I think. It's totally fine that this is full of CO2. It's supposed to be. Please sweep away this source of gas. Okay. Uh, 
I think we'll bump up the priority of this, even though it'll slow the tubes down just a little bit. Uh, I do want to make sure as soon as the gas pumps are working that we've got a vacuum, or that it's sealed rather. Someone going to supply this? Has it already been supplied? Nope, there we go. I think I'll just bump up the priority for that. Did a better job of last playthrough with the priority settings, so this would get done, but I really want to see that polluted oxygen level start to drop here first. Base is looking pretty nice for the most part. Uh, we might want to add some more oxygen filters down here. We mop this up, sweep it away. How are we doing over here? We've got our seal. And pretty much just hurry up and do all that, please. Okay. 3.7 cycles. I don't think we're going to get this built before the volcano erupts again. Did we get this? No. Set that at, like... I only put this on, like, priority 6, didn't I? Let's give it a minute. Alright, deodorizer, do your thing. And... I guess I could speed it up, but this is fine. Pretty soon the oxygen level will come down to here, so we'll only be running this uh, if CO2 gets up to here, for example. I'm surprised the CO2 found its way all the way down here, or rather the line of polluted oxygen. We used to have CO2 all the way up to here. I started pumping it out if we detect anything but oxygen. I guess it's because we're pumping out polluted oxygen. No. If anything, that makes it more confusing. Any gas that's heavier than oxygen... It's not like we've pumped out so much gas that the pressure is lower. It's about the pressure? Yeah, but look, we've still got like 800 grams here. It's pretty strange. Um, not really going to do anything with brine. Medicine, cuisine, agriculture, science. No, let's just skip this one. Uh, I suppose I could have put another... The desalinator isn't going to care if it's salt water and or brine going into it, is it? I suppose I could have just let the brine come into here. It would have been fine. Fertilization is the problem now. Wait, do we have no dirt? We've got 13 tons of dirt. What's going on? What? 
What are our farmers doing? Uh, farming. Dehos, you should probably have a higher prior for farming. Not sure what happened there. Oh, I remember. It was for training. Get you some athletics. Sloda does lots of things, including farming. Kevin does a few things, including farming. Hmm. I think I need to make farming someone's top priority. Um, Dehose isn't the best at it. But he's got the least other skills. Ten, fifteen. Let's put Cavern on farming as well. So we've got two people whose top priority is farming. Seems good. How hot is this water? 98 degrees. Cool. We'll be able to get rid of that gas pump pretty soon. And we are emptying the gas in this room. Fantastic. Okay. I think we can bump up the priority on this now. Wish I hadn't just deconstructed that earlier. If anything, I should just snip this, and not until we get rid of all this water will I reconnect it. Don't know what that warning was. Doesn't care about water, uh, which type of salty water, yeah. That's what I realized afterwards. Um, alright, so steam turbine is gonna need power. How long until this empties? We're down to a couple of milligrams or so. Oh, it's fluctuating all over the place now. What the hell? Did we just open something up? What? Now we're up to 14 grams? Where's it coming from? Was there gas here that we just let in? I am very confused. Can I see the room shape? There it is. That was really strange. Maybe some slime? Slime just gives germs. Which we've got plenty of. Good thing we're in Atmo suits. And there's definitely no slime getting back into the base. The floral scent is actually doing a pretty good job of blocking it. Uh, um, Ruh-roh. Well, oh, they never dug over here either. Can I get some more floral scent? Over this way, please. How about a regular pot? Furniture. Uh, flower pot. There we go. Body temperature illuminate. Oh, right. Body temperature. Why is body temperature so bad now? Because we've got 50 degree water coming in. Crude oil temperature is pretty good. 
Um, we should probably do a coolant loop through here. The water is that hot, though. Especially because we're putting in a bunch of cool, polluted water. Or have we finished doing that? No, nope, there's more coming from up the... Oh, that's the cycle. Yeah, it looks like we have finished with all of this polluted water. We've got this new stuff coming in now, though. It's not that chilly, actually. It's, a, it's below 30, though. That's the main thing. And all of this water is actually looking pretty cool. So... Kind of strange how hot this water is right here. Maybe I should make it radiant pipe so it equalizes with the room. Very weird. Um, it's going to take him a minute to build those pipes regardless. We're down to less than four tons of copper here, sitting nice and hot. That's good. Which means we've got a bunch of copper over here. Fantastic. And an awful lot sitting on this conveyor belt. And then we move a bunch more through. Nice. How's this one coming along? 20, 30 grams? Wait, do we have something here off-gassing? Oh, slime emits polluted oxygen. Uh, I think when it's a tile it doesn't emit. Alright, can we pry that cleaning? And up here as well, just in case. How's the uptime looking? Uh, slowly going down. No, it's come. It's going back up slightly. Weirdly enough. Actually, that's not weird. That's what I would have expected before. Okay. It says we've got zero copper available. Even though there's 2.4 tons here, I guess some of it's reserved. Uh, I could allow them to come pick this up, but a quarter of what I saw here was actually cooled off and picked up just recently, so it's not going to be that long until we've got it all available. Slime produces polluted oxygen, indeed. But well, when it's on the floor. I don't think it produces polluted oxygen when it's actually a tile. Right? Choose a blueprint. Suit wearing a wrench. Uh, oh, we're good, thanks. Oh, and they actually swept all of this. 
Alright, so we don't have anything here that off-gasses, I don't think. Oh, and we're just getting to the point of... Yeah, we switched to the gas view just in time to see it empty. Perfect. Tiles don't off-gas only items on the ground. Uh, except for... Oxalite tiles, right? I think that's... As far as I know, that's the only exception. Slime and bleach stone tiles used to off gas like oxalite, but I haven't paid attention to if they still do. Uh, I don't think they. No, I don't think bleach does. It definitely does when it drops. Okay. Are we just about ready? Let's seal this up. Uh, make sure we do this one first. Erupts in 14... Oh, it did erupt. Steam at 327 degrees. Okay, cool. Well, not cool. Literally the opposite of cool. Very, very hot. And a bit of a problem, actually. Because the hotter this gets, the harder it is going to be to deal with when we do open this up. So we don't really have the luxury of time that much, I guess. They don't off-gas of the an uh, atmospheric pressure. If the atmospheric pressure is high enough, that makes sense. Don't you trap him. No. Uh, it's fine. We're just going to open this in a sec. construct this actually could you could you please thank you like that and then you may go Uh, and we want to put more hydrogen in here as well. So let's put a gas vent. That'll bring in some nice cool hydrogen as well, which will give us a bit of a head start. Getting rid of this heat, keeping the turbines running. Um, we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, which is a bit too many. For one pipe for shared cooling. So I'll do another output over here. But for now... Well, I guess there's no harm in opening this up at this point. Bring on the cool hydrogen. Oh, we can't. 
Uh, I guess it's going to be kind of warm nitrogen in the room itself. But then we're going to have to have cool hydrogen come in to replace it. That's going to be in the pipes. So it doesn't make that much difference. Also, before it even finishes a lap, we're going to have gaps in here. So the cool hydrogen is going to come in and half the time go through this vent. So it's a bit of both. Let's get a liquid vent between these two. And hurry up about it. And we need power connected as well. Seeing big efficiency on the steam turbines. Because they're getting cooled more. Oh, this thing's getting overheated. There we go. They're not going to get the few pieces of pipe finished until tomorrow, are they? Unless... No, we need some power pipe. Uh, power pipe? Yes, power pipe. Good old-fashioned power pipe. Uh, we're going to need that built as well, so... Looks like it's all supplied, probably, though. We're down to 218 degrees steam. Fantastic. There we go. Okay. I really want that steam turbine built as well, but that said... We can probably let some of the extra hot steam into the rest of the room now. On second thought, we've got 13 cycles before... Uh, it's fine. The heat actually isn't transferring from here to the rest of the room all that quickly. which is kind of what I want right now. Look at these two with the maximum uptime. And not anymore. Okay, that's... That's more what I was expecting. But yeah, uptime obviously going up by quite a lot. Uh, remains to be seen what it's going to look like in the long run after that initial burst of cooler hydrogen. I do see the steam temp continuing to drop kind of quickly though. I think this will probably be enough to keep up.
And we've got 13 cycles to catch up as well. Obviously, we know if if we had a long enough line of steam turbines, uh, theoretically, it would be enough to do it with self-cooling. Although, considering temperature isn't going to instantaneously propagate through an arbitrarily long steam room, uh, there might actually be a limit to that, but maybe not a practical one. Or turbines? They'll get there. Look, the steam in front of the volcano is already down to 205. So this is actually... This is actually the room equalized now, pretty much. So we were at like 250 degrees and rising before, now we're down to 200. 200 to 210 already. What are we printing? Free copper? Supplying operating building. Oh, hello. Critter aversion, don't care. Requires light to sleep is slightly annoying, but we've already got two of those, I think. Um, and it actually is annoying because it means I have to put you know what? It's about time we made comfy beds. It's way beyond time we made comfy beds. And we've got... Hmm, they're twice as big. Not counting the walls. Uh, well, It's going to be a little bit of a pain to expand out to here, but I'm pretty sure we can just put all of the bedrooms over this way. How many have we got? 13 dupes? We could go... A one... And a two, and a three, four, five, six. Hmm. I think I'd rather go a bit more vertical than have the bedrooms come out twice as far as that. Oh, the old meal wood. We can move that. I think, I hope. Um, here we go. If our oil coolant loop is doing its job to keep the bristle blossom going. Why is it stopped? Oh, right. Just need a little bit more copper, which we appear to have. Here it comes. Oh, up here as well. I could always move this farm down, but I think I'd rather have bedrooms here, bedrooms here. Partly just because I don't feel like moving all of this stuff. Nope, that's not partly, that's the whole reason actually. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna link that over there for now. Alright, cool. Um, I'm a little concerned that we're down to 155k food, but it's probably fine, probably. Or 
remove tiles apart. Let's remove this. I could always do some more meal wood. Uh, somewhere, probably. Maybe it's not that easy. And we want some decor items as well. Does it define a nice room here somewhere? I think it does. Bedroom, single comfy bed, and a decor item, that's it. Minimum size 12, which is... we've got 16 here. Nice. Alright. And maybe airflow tiles? No, those won't make a difference there. Maybe one airflow tile in the floor each, so that the CO2 drops out. Tumbling satellite, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Out, friend. Uh-oh. I'm on the way out. Let's do maybe an airflow tile here as well. That would only be if lighter gases have to get... They can already get out here. Humbling, uh, I regret to inform you that you, your character in XCOM 2 tragically had his hit points reduced to one. I am alive, how's the colony? Not too bad. Pretty good, actually. Uh, we're messing with volcanoes still. And it turned out four steam turbines weren't really enough, not unless we have aggressive active cooling. I wanted to try this hybrid model of um, passive cooling, but also a little bit of active cooling just in case. Uh, and it's worked out okay, except that the four steam turbines were actually not able to keep up with lowering the temperature in here. But we got there now. Uh, steam temp in this room was like 250, now it's sub 200. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure six steam turbines are going to be more than enough. I do wonder if active cooling alone could be enough with more turbines, but I don't really feel like building it that far. I actually watched one of the missions yesterday, was almost sure I had kicked the bucket. Didn't dare to ask. Yeah, you got, uh... You got hit by a very fair and reasonable and counterplayable... Uh, attack by one of the Chosen, where in she does like a wave attack that pierces through everything, including solid walls. Um, and I don't, I don't know if it arbitrarily reduces hit points to one or if it just, if we were just lucky. The assassin wave, yes. Uh, considering that two soldiers were reduced to exactly one hit point at the same time by that attack, I would guess it arbitrarily puts them on one hit point, but that's obviously just the best that I can do with a sample size of one. I think in vanilla it just stuns and doesn't do damage. <laughs> Thanks, Long War of the Chosen. Uh, let's also get... Some nice decor items in here. How about a arrow pot each? Made out of diamond. At least it was the assassin, not a random advent soldier. <laughs> yeah, um... I mean, I think it was our first death of the campaign. It was literally just... A random, the, the weakest soldier in the game, four hit points, uh, from across the map with a so-called flank shot at maximum range, 
up through a floor. Half a year of the best Factoria content on Twitch. Shmoa, thank you very much. And thank you so much for the sub. Uh, and the six months. Very, very much. Thank you. Classic? Yeah. That, uh, that was one hell of a mission. And that one trooper out of all of the quote-unquote real threats that trooper was just a problem we couldn't kill him advent trooper mvp all right so i want like six of these things over here and six over here one two three four five Maybe I could do like five and seven since this is not really in the way. But yeah, we had some pretty pretty amazing missions actually yesterday. The the two soldier sneaky one where we got busted on turn three or something and ended up with fifty enemies on the map and still one without anyone dying. Uh, because half of those enemies hated the other half of those enemies. Um, well, not just because of that. It was also very, very difficult to pull it off. But we got there somehow. XCOM is the game I absolutely love and uninstall in a fit of rage after a few days. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it makes it easier that I'm streaming it to not get upset at, like, a random death, because it's content, frankly. And because I need to pretend that I just take it in stride. I mean, because I just have to do that thing, not pretend that thing. Yes, that's, that's what I said, actually. Alright, so our plants are all growing now. Perfect. Very good. And... We can probably start... How many of these beds have been built? Well, six by the end of the day, surely. We can probably start converting some of these. Choose a blueprint. Uh, we wanted our nyctophobic person. 400 copper isn't is a little bit tempting, but supplying operating building. How often are you going to get those? Uh, especially supplying building together. So we're going to print here and just double check. No one's done a name a dupe redeem. Nope. It's been a while since I had spare. Uh, dupe names. But yeah, we'll put... What is this connect? Oh, I see. How much is on this wire? Not that much. Uh, I think I'd like to borrow this wire because no need to make another power transformer to generate more heat. We'll change that. Fair enough. Still didn't go through my stream campaign because ARG... Oh no. Helps when streaming, definitely, yeah. Am I in already? Uh, yes. Evil Pla... I think you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up here. You are... A builder, I believe? Uh, let's see. Builder, digger... And supplier. Very cool. Alright, let me get Shmua's name in here. Um, do you want to be Pei or the other one that we haven't named yet? What was the other one? Nails. Nails is a chef and farmer, I think. Oh, that's right. That was my bad. Nails is a chef who is a kitchen menace, actually. 
Uh, attributes. Where, where's the bio? Here we go. Um, personal interests include cooking and traits. Kitchen menace. Beautiful. I remember you. Disturbed my needless suffering once? Wait, what? Can't cook, so the other one. <laughs> Shmur? Okay, so Shmur, K will be Shmur. Let's see, where is. I haven't given. Shmur priorities yet. Uh, yes, I have. Oh no, these are just default. Okay. Uh, let's just get you running hamster wheels until you have more uh, fitness. But yeah, we'll put you in this room. There's like three people that can't sleep without light. So we'll go one, two, three. Probably use lead for this, actually. One, two, three. And... Up here. Alright, pink, I mean shmua. Where are you on the list? There you go. Oh, you're already assigned. Fantastic. Okay, let's get some ceiling lights. It's not going to bother the dupe in the next room, is it? The way this light goes through on the right? I hope not. Can't what now? Burnt ice cream is back on the menu. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Apparently we don't have any diamond yet. Uh, we should have done. Okay, they can pick it up. It's just far away. Still got more than a fifth. About a quarter, actually, of our water hasn't flashed to steam. Huh? Gas vent over pressure? Over pressure, two kilograms. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. As far as steam goes. The only reason we have this here is so that when this water flashes, it's just going to get put back in here. Slightly overpressured? Yeah, just a little bit. Alright, uh, and then we've got Bruv uh, Bruvim and Damsel. No, oh, Cavern, get out of there. Uh, Bruvim, Shmua, and Damsel. I'll get the comfy beds that have the ceiling lights. Let's get rid of these cots. Uh, and let's start putting some comfy beds over here as well. Um, either way is fine, I guess. 
and airy pods. Oh no, some of them are going to sleep on the floor, aren't they? Which uh, plant should I put in? Probably the uh, joyous seeds, we've got so many of them. That vent is only 20 kilogram pressure. Oh, true. So I don't actually have a way to put this steam back in here, do I? Huh. Huh. Welp. It's just 38 grams of steam. What's the worst that could happen? Joya is an ultimate plant. Ultimate? Sporchid? Wait, is Sporchid this thing down here? Where is it? Uh. Didn't we find a creepy plant? I thought it was in the oil biome. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I don't remember ordering digging down here. Is the sport shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. The one that, like, mind controls or something. It's only a tiny blob. Just let it go outside and mop it? Oh, I tried. I couldn't get it to drop down. And, like, I dug this out so that we could mop it here, and for some reason we still couldn't. Uh, I was gonna put Buddy Bud Seed here. It is Buddy Bud that does the... yes. The floral scent. After it flashes, yeah, 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 we're just gonna drop it out here. mop that polluted water so it stops off gassing looks like our turbines are doing much better almost 30% uptime on the one at the very end Well, that's an improvement anyway. Oh, what's the steam temp more to the point? We're down to 180. Yeah. 175 over here. As long as that steam temperature is dropping, uh, that's what we really need to see. Might be able to use a mini liquid pump to suck that up. I never thought of that. I've never even used a mini liquid pump. Uh, well, the crude oil is kind of in the way. We're already at 99... Oh, 100. It should have flashed to steam already. According to... Uh, its evaporation point, 99.4 degrees. I know it takes extra energy to go up... Uh, from one state to the other... So maybe it needs like an extra degree or two. I don't know if the game actually simulates that, but maybe it does. Why is there meat in here? Three degrees, okay. Still going to be a while before... We reach 125 degrees here, actually. 
That's what I want to see. Fantastic. Not sure why we have polluted oxygen here. Oh, and does everyone have a bed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a no. Thirteen? Except we want to change them all to nice beds. This doesn't count as a decor item, does it? Plus 15. Yeah, it does. Bedroom. Single comfy bed decor item. You might, you might just have just skipped the part where you say it needs a decor item. Since a single comfy bed is a decor item. Oh, wait. Hold on. Which one of these... Oh, I thought this hadn't actually been built yet. Never mind. It looks kind of like the blueprint. It looks a lot like the blueprint, except for the black hanging part. And the actual dirt, obviously. Alright, it's the beginning of the day. Let's try and get this done. Oh, and we should be able to find out right now. Light overlay looks okay to me. RV UK is it having trouble sleeping? I think we could see it. Uh, he keeps like waking up and rubbing his eyes if there's light on him. Oops. Could you copy setting this? There we go. Alright, so that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need two more. Sleeping under a jumping cactus sounds risky. <laughs> nah. You're not going to wake up wondering why you feel prickly. Now you can reduce sleeping hours by one. Uh, I'll have a look at what their morale looks like first. No, don't let the polluted oxygen in. Uh, it should find its way down here, I suppose. I frankly don't trust it to. Alright, so I can see this room now. Barracks. Okay. Does work the way I would have thought. Should I just do two more over here? I think I should do them here instead. I never did find a good place to put the nature reserve. Let's just get this out of the way for now. Morale? What beds have to do with morale? What do you mean? Of course they're going to have better morale if they have a nice personal bedroom. Plus two, plus one. That's not as big of an improvement as I was expecting. <laughs> Ooh, 
Polluted oxygen doesn't really travel vertically. It does find itself in layers based... Uh, this is above the... Huh. That's weird. Alright, fine. We'll have to shove in a deodorizer just for you. Ragnar. Oh, that was quick. We printing? Uh, not really. Let's take bright mushroom. Creeping up to 200k calories, that seems good. Steam temp is down to 170 or less. Fantastic. Once it does get back down to 125, I might cut off the active cooling and see how long it lasts with passive only. What food storage do you have set up? Food storage? This thing just never stops pumping. Uh, we're down to the micrograms, actually. Ration boxes? Yeah, I haven't done the fridges yet, because power... I, get, I guess power is probably reliable now. Probably. Don't know where to put it, though. We should make a proper kitchen area out of this mess. Oh, do we have enough... Yeah, we do. We've got 16 tables. And let's fix that. Anyway. Okay. We're down to 161. I, I thought I saw... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's like a tile with 160 degree steam over here now. I think next week I want to start going to space. How many? How much steel do we have? Oh, 3.2 tons. Our steel throughput isn't too bad now. Uh, we need to start farming poker shells to get a better throughput of. I forget which what is called the material that we need for steel. I can only see one poker shell on the whole map, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, I want to cover half the map at least in solar panels. And I want to come up with a slightly better design than last time. I'm sure it's possible to get, like... Basically maximum density with the solar panels. That is a big lump of copper. It's actually only 400 kilo. Never mind. I wish you could crush Spore Child and nicely sprinkle on top of your food. <laughs> what? That's something else I want to do this uh, playthrough. I want to farm every plant just for the hell of it. Um, I 
It's not going to be the prettiest setup the first time for some of these plants, probably, but we'll see what we can do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. We don't have any cots left, do we? No, we just got this done. Okay, cool. Uh, copy, paste, joy, your seed. Fantastic. We're still cleaning that polluted oxygen? Ravna. Oh, no, I think we got it. Just right this second, actually. Fantastic. I'm not sure why they're taking so long to plant the cactus seeds. Especially considering they had to go way out of their way to get the diamond. Wow. Look at this little corner of carbon dioxide. That is... fascinating. Honestly. And they give up. Remember kids, air circulation is important especially when you exercise. <laughs> Apparently. I'm not exactly sure how you manage to get this little pocket of CO2 in here with none of the air in the room moving around. Your air seems a bit thin. Uh, there's over a kilogram per tile over here. I think we're fine, actually. We don't have the message saying that oxygen production needs to be increased. What have we got? 14 dupes and we've got three electrolyzers. One of these can support like eight and their uptime is... I mean, I never looked at the uptime stats until recently. It's normal for it to have max gas pressure a lot of the time. This is pretty close to as fast as it's going to go. Unless we had a gas pump unconditionally suck all the air out of the room and then filter it instead of using gravity. So it could be right next to it. But I don't want to do that. This mod gives a false sense of security for oxygen? What mod? I don't have any mods that affect that. Two pumps per electrolyzer. Hold up. Electrolyzer can output 888 grams of oxygen. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, so of course we're bottlenecking on max gas pressure over here. Uh, we've actually got... So, this is the main bus with oxygen. Um, and I've got gas vents here with Atmo sensors, so that basically we've got a lower maximum pressure. Uh, so, we keep outputting gas here until it reaches 1000. Uh, and then comes down here, outputs here until it reaches 1000. And then when that's saturated, it comes down and supplies these oxygen suits. Um... I've seen some dips and spikes in how much oxygen we get down here that I can't really account for, to be honest. Maybe it's just... why? What? Oh, crap. Wait, what? How do we get natural gas in here? What? Huh? This thing, it says it's over pressure. It can't output. 
what the... That's really strange. The colorful gases mod? Oh, right. Yeah, I completely forgot I had it. I guess we don't need, uh, we don't need the Weezwats here anymore. We're not having any trouble whatsoever with heat over here these days. So I could put a, another gas pump or two. I think right next to each other, four of them wouldn't be that effective, though. I could be wrong. You know what? Let's run the experiment. I want to see just how bottlenecked having four of these gas pumps next to each other would be. Oh, we've only got the one pipe, though. That's 10 kilograms a second. That's two gas pumps. Uh, I could do a second pipe that skips over these ones and finds its way down, like, here to start with. One kilogram for gas pipes? Did I misspeak? Yeah, well, I meant... Uh, like, the unit that you see right here, 1,000 grams, that's how much you can do per second, right? Which happens to be two oxygen pumps. I think it actually wouldn't be a problem if I... Wait, no, it has to be filtered. I pumped it down here because I was borrowing this filter that we already had. Uh, so... I wish you could put these things in walls or something. Or just behind other things like this. Okay. I guess insulated. Um, I'll put everything else right here. Oxygen can go in here. And... Just shove it into this pipe. And or have this come down like so. I don't know, maybe that could cause a problem. Let's just not do it. There's no real need to. Except that we're making more spaghetti. Okay, so that's gonna go over here. And... Do we have enough power on this wire? Yeah, I think so. Potential load is actually pretty high, but everything would have to run at the same time. And we've got a bunch of doors and stuff on it, and old pumps and things. It's probably fine. Pro probably. I fully expect to be bottlenecked by how much gas we're taking in from this spot right here, as opposed to the pipes, uh, the gas pumps, etc. I just want to see it. Alright, so this is going to be oxygen. You said 10 kilograms. Yeah, I was thinking of uh, liquid pipes. It's actually less spaghetti-like than this is. Mm. 
did that say? I thought it said pipe blocked or something. Yeah, pipe blocked. Huh? This pipe is blocked? Is, what is going on here? Oh, this... Wait, what? Oh, this is coming up here now. Hmm. Okay. Freaking weird pipe mechanics. New phone, who dis? Hey, Gek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you doing? Alright, are we going to get continuous... Uh, I need them to build this before I can find out. Eek the cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Got a job. Fantastic. Sounds like it... It's not the worst job, perhaps. It's a good one. Nice, nice. Oh, now we're bottlenecking on one pipe anyway. The whole point was I wanted to insert over here so that we could... Like... Yes, we're putting it all down to this one pipe, but we're inserting this where the throughput from the first one is practically zero. But then, uh, pipe mechanics had to be all weird and start pushing... What? Now it's behaving the way I thought it would in the first place. What? The problem was this wasn't going down. And then I added this up here, and then I disconnected it. Why are you like this? What? Seriously? That? No. That makes no sense. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna snip right here. And that gas in the middle is gonna change direction. What sorcery is this? I add stuff to flying thingies. That's very cool. Why would a little T intersection that goes nowhere affect the direction of the gas over here? That is so random. What if I cut it here? It's definitely this spot. So I'm just going to leave a random piece of pipe? That is so strange. Well, we set out what we intended to. I blocked. Uh, I think it's actually bottlenecked by... Nope. I kind of want to insert it further down. Let's try this. Like, I'm sure I'll have to tweak it, but... Alternatively, I could pipe it all the way down to here. Yeah. 
Here are back, I'm gonna go annoy Mucky, fair enough. Write a comment on that pipe before you delete it later? Can I even write a comment? How does that work? The new pipe flow system doesn't like alternating inputs and outputs in a pipeline. It could try making sense. What's this? Oxygen. Uh, something's busted. Oh, we've got really weird... Huh. We're back to having CO2 over here. Oh, how's our steam doing? Hey, we're down to sub... Uh, sub steam turbine temperatures. Okay, I want to run this experiment now. We're going to cut off uh, our coolant loop, our active coolant loop. And in 2.4 cycles, we're going to see if six self-cooling steam turbines can keep up with a volcano. You need obvious midpoints, or the code will make imaginary, invisible ones. <sighs> Disabled by auto grid. Oh, because we've got enough steel. Oh wow, that's a very good sign. Fantastic. I really want to start... Um, doing solar panels. But that's gonna be for next week. Oh, do we have the beds? Sheep say Met is still on a cot. I... I don't... Oh, here it is. I thought I deconned this. There we go. Alright, Sheep say Met. Get yourself in a comfy bed. Uh, why, when it said we have 15 jumping joyas, have a few of these not been placed yet, I wonder? Well, I'll take three more joya seeds. Ranching suit wearing supply. Uh, that works. One, two, three. We need two more, apparently. Let me just check. Oh yeah, seed. We allegedly already have six units. I don't know where they are. Maybe I just need to prioritize these. Anyway. I kind of want to wait the two cycles before we finish stream, because I really want to see either whether or not this works and how how long it would take to overheat mucky angie with me but not riding and what else are we doing in a few minutes before we finish. Why is there a hatch in here? Water temperature is looking nice and chilly. Fantastic. We've actually got three... Oh. I thought we needed three water CFs because they were all active at the same time, but it's actually just the way that it splits up water here. I guess that's fine either way. For calling him a wanker? He could never actually be angry for that. He knows. Can we mop this? Yeah, we can. We're still trying to empty that polluted oxygen. And that natural gas that I don't know how it got through the water lock. That we have here.
It, it didn't occur to me when I built this as well that it would take so long to empty the water here that uh, the natural gas geyser would erupt in the meantime. Oh well, as long as we end up with just natural gas in that room, I guess. There's also... Uh, annoying. Well, that's a problem for next week. We are at 1.4 cycles until... Why is this one steam turbine active? What? What? Random temperature fluctuations, I guess? Yeah, has to be. For some reason, our... No, that makes perfect sense. Our material that's on the conveyor rail here is still at 130 degrees. That's fine. Um, I guess we could potentially dig up here a bit further. And see what we can see up the top. Probably rock on ground hot too. Could be. Oh, oh, lava must have flown out this way. So the steam moving around is taking heat from this. Very, very slowly. Hmm. Well, regardless, uh, it's all slightly under 125 degrees for the most part. And we did drop another bit of igneous rock through here. Fantastic. Point 0.8 cycles to go. No erupt? Yeah, it's going to erupt. There's only, uh, like, less than 100 kilograms per tile now of steam. I think it has to be 150 to fail to erupt. We've still got 0.7 cycles to go. How's this uh, gas throughput looking? Better. Much better. That's actually what I was going for. All right, cool. This one's looking rather slow now, though. So it's not like we doubled our throughput, not that we expected to. It's actually working better than I thought it would. Um, I thought it would be much more bottlenecked by making the air here thin too quickly, but apparently that's not the issue. We got lots of nice cool water. We got 0.4 cycles till this baby erupts. Interesting fact, air pump does not produce heat? No way. The gas pump? Huh. What about a regular pump? A uh, liquid pump? I never realized that. I guess it's just an early game beginner mercy kind of thing. Gas filters also don't produce heat, yeah. That would make sense if it's for the same reason. Hmm, I'm not sure what to do about this now. I guess I could just vent it to space, honestly. Until we get this built. Why does it keep saying someone's suffocating for like two nanoseconds? Oh! Oh! Ooh, Vim, no. No, 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 no. Stupid sand type stuff. Uh... 
everything is an emergency. Go, go, go. No, don't. Okay, okay. For some reason you're able to breathe here. It's because we're out. I can see now why you're suffocating for two nanoseconds and then not suffocating. Um. Okay, we're not, we're not doing this without paying close attention to what people are doing. Uh, no one's up here, right? I'm just gonna forbid this door for now. That was terrifying. That's not the way to end the stream. Shame on you if you are the dev of this game. <laughs> Don't miss the eruption. I don't intend to. We've actually just got 10 seconds. Who sent them into space without safety suit? It was only for a second. That magma, though. I think we need more water in here if we don't want the magma to spread out so much. Maybe it's not a bad thing that the magma spreads out. I mean, it's the same amount of magma interacting with the same amount of steam, but in a larger area. Hmm. I think I'll I think I'll add more water to this. It was good eruption, indeed. Oh, I wonder if. I wonder if that has anything to do with why we ended up with solid igneous rock like that. No, it happened before we expanded the room. We don't have that much less steam than the maximum to let the volcano erupt. Alright. Turbine too hot... Turbine too hot. I don't think it's gonna last. I, I I think it's gonna fail even quicker than I thought it would. Yeah, with these little slithers of efficiency. Um I'm thinking we turn on the active cooling without even waiting. Alright, cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Space Exploration and Crestorio 2. And we have in our inventory our very first space elevator, but we haven't placed it yet. Uh, let's see if anyone's playing Oni for a raid. Discount Engineer. I raid him all the time for this game. Or maybe give someone else a chance. Designer plays. thank you for hanging out, take care. Alright, this might be good. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till then, stay safe. Take care, Blas. TSZ. RPA Chill Streams. Designer Plays. Uh, Zaxxon, good to see you again. If you place Temp Shift Plates where the magma spawn, it should instantly solidify. Assuming we can make temp shift out of... I don't think I can place temp shift there, can I? Well, I guess I probably can. Anyway, that's for next week. Take care, Evil Claw, Veldak... Ad... 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 Adirox? Adirox. Okay. <laughs> See you next time, guys.